Hey, everyone. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone Thursday going today? Just give me one second. I got to get the game up. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Good to see you, man. All right. Oh, my goodness. So I actually uh, I so I did a little bit of research uh, yesterday because we went into Necropolis and we basically found out that the ghouls there had a water chip, but they also had a pump that was broken. So that's why they were using the water chip of the vault, uh, which was underground to get their water. And I went down the sewers, I ran around the sewers, I talked to the pacifist ghouls. I was like, where are these parts that I need to fix this? Because I have to take your water chip, my vault needs it, yada yada. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we went into a section and there was like a ton of mole rats and like five dead ghouls, whatever. Well, there was this item and it was just, it just said junk, just junk, no description, just pile of junk. So... I'm trying to repair it, I'm trying to repair it, I'm trying to repair it. And the game's like, well, you need a fuse, you need a fuse, where's the fuse? And so then I went back to the guy and I was like, well, where do I have to go to get the fuse now that I've taken care of the super mutants? And he's like, oh, go east, then north, and all this shit. So I ran all the way over the sewers, everything. Turns out, that pile of junk, which I ended up selling to a merchant because I thought it was junk, was what I needed to repair the water pump. So now it's like... I have to remember which merchant I sold it to, or I have to go back to the hub, or I have to find more junk, and until I do that, the good ghouls in Necropolis don't have any water because I yoinked the water chip because we were running out of time to put it into my vault. I have no idea. I can't even remember who I sold it to. I think I sold it to someone in the hub, so uh, once we load in, I'm going to see if I can get it back, but uh, according to what I'm seeing is... The junk was the item I was supposed to get. I just thought it was junk, and I sold it thinking it was crap, so... Uh, let's hope that the merchant here still has the uh, the junk we need, because I'm going to feel like a total asshole if I can't repair that water pump now that I took the chip. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, we're doing really well. Um, I killed a bunch of super mutants. I've been getting a lot of use out of my shotgun. We're up to 5,000 caps, 22 stim packs. Two super stems, a radio, a tool, sell a hundred shotgun shells. I have a plasma pistol with no ammo. I bought some psycho just in case we run into something that we need to power through. And now I have a Geiger counter so we know when stuff's like irradiated. And then I got this giant ass plasma rifle, which I need to find someone who has a lot of caps because it sells for five thousand dollars. But I really want to focus on uh, repairing that water pump so I don't feel like an asshole. Yeah, I only thought it was junk because it said it was junk. It didn't say it was a quest item, and it let me sell it. So now I have to, like, backtrack and try to remember what merchant I sold it to and book it to Necropolis before the ghouls run out of water. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to be an asshole. Um, and then, on my character sheet, um, we've got this new, uh, this new perk called uh, Bonus Move which lets me get two more action points when I'm walking um, that don't affect, like, so I get two free action points that don't lower my total action points. So I'm able to, like, chase after people and reposition and do all this stuff and then still get, like, shots off. So it's basically, like, a game changer. Like, one of the best perks I've gotten. And we're only, like, 500 XP from getting another level. So we're about to level again. Um, I think I sold it to this guy in the general store, if I'm not mistaken. I hope he still has it. But it's been going much better now. I've, like, figured some stuff out. We're having fun. And I think that now that the water chip is in the, uh... Like, in the vault, we can just keep checking back and, like, taking the water and selling it for money. So, I've just been, like, leveling up my repair skill, my barter skill, my speech skill, and we definitely need to get, like, some better equipment, so... I think it was this guy. Little red hair guy. Alright, do you have my junk, sir? I didn't mean to sell you it. Son of a bitch. Was it not this guy? Yeah, he doesn't have it. Son of a bitch. 
How much is this worth? Oh my god, no, I'm keeping that. Um, damn it. Alright. The only other person I think that I could have sold it to? Did I drop it? No, I didn't drop it. Was this person over here at the Gunrunner store? I think her name's Beth. Oh, uh, you missed it, Chris. Yesterday I actually picked, uh, I picked three locks. It's the first time I used lock picking in this game. It was kind of amazing. I learned how to pickpocket, how to stealth, um, I killed a fucking super mutant with, like, a Gatling laser. Um, it was a, I just didn't give a shit. I was, like, killing with a shotgun. I was, like, back-to-back capping fools. I was, I took out a whole thing of feral ghouls. We found out that the ghouls in Necropolis that I was fighting were feral. There was another guy who owns, like, a military faction named Set. Um, I might take him out. He's kind of an asshole. And then I found the pacifist ghouls in the sewer. Um, so I left them alive. And then the super mutants were guarding the water tank. And I tried to use all my speech skill to, like, walk through there. Like, to talk my way through. And they were just too dumb. Didn't matter what I said, how I said it, how much I flirted, how much I bribed, how much I winked at them. They were, like, no. And then they asked me if I was a normie, because apparently if there's a normie, they have to take me to their boss and uh, arrest me, basically. So I had to convince them that I was not a normie, so that was a very fun part <laughs> of stream. Trying to tell them that I was not a normal person, I was not a normie. I wish I could get a day off, it's been so lovely out. You just left, do you miss me already? Alright, Beth is super into me. Every time I come here, she's just trying to flirt with me. I'll take you out on a date if you give me back the junk I sold you. Oh, that's right, you're working for Butch. You get the 15% discount? Oh shit, I didn't know I got a discount for working with Butch. Hell yeah, I love trade deals. Hell yeah. Can I have my junk back, please? Who has the junk? Please say she has it. There's the water, so I definitely sold her shit. Son of a bitch. Where did I put it? Where did I put the junk? I didn't sell to anyone else, I didn't think. Oh, shit. So when I was walking around yesterday, I came across, like, a traveling caravan. And I may or may not have, like, sold the junk to them. Son of a bitch. Alright, alright. Backup plan, backup plan. Alright, alright. Somebody... Somebody said that there's, like, junk in, in the hub? In Old Town, and I don't know what Old Town is, but we're gonna go to Old Town and find some junk ASAP. Alright, what is this place? What? Who are you? Hub Guard. Can I help you? Can you tell me where I am? You're in the south end of the hub. If you look around, you'll find the water merchants and a small hospital. Who are the water merchants? A hospital, yeah. Who are the water merchants? Uh, those bastards, they think they own the damn hub just because they have control of the water tower. A hospital? The children of the cathedral run a small hospital here in the hub. They seem to uh, be a decent bunch. Alright. Ugh, I'm so upset. I had no idea that was a quest item, and I all the ghouls are, like, drowning. Like, the guy deadass looked at me, and he's like, You know, if you take that water chip back to your vault, we're gonna die. And I was like, I know, but I'm trying to fix your water pump. And he's like, Okay, the parts are in the sewer. And I was like, okay, I've went through the sewer seven times. Where are they? Um, so I'm a, I'm a little, you know, my big heart is going to get me in trouble because I care about these stupid zombies. I don't know why. But I want to fix their damn water pump. All right, what does that say, water merchants? They're just called water merchants? There's a Brahmin there. There's some random-ass guy with a bandana. Maybe he has junk? Sir, do you have any junk? I'll pay- I'll buy it for a high price. Hi, if you're looking for a job on one of our caravans, you should talk to the master merchant. She's in that building to the east. Okay. I will do that. I'm already working for Butch, though, because he liked me so much, and so I get, a, like, a 15% discount. Uh, I'm guessing it's this guy? Why do I look like I'm in, like, the Mafia? I don't know if these water merchants are, like, the best. If I take him out, I can definitely get water from the vault, though. And I'll be a better overlord than they'll ever be. Alright, let's see if this door locked. Knock, knock, motherfucker. No, it's open. Alright, who's this guy? 
Yeah, so yeah, that's what I read too, Chris. It's like in the southeast corner of a weapon supply shop in the Hub's Old Town. Where the hell is Hub's Old Town? I think that's where I'm at. I have no idea. Hey, you got any smokes? No, I definitely don't have any cigarettes. Uh, this guy is a sledgehammer. Alright, who's the head merchant here? Is it uh, this woman? Master merchant, that's who I want to talk to. I don't care what they say, we need new parts. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. What can I do for you? Uh, I want a job. Uh, sure, great. You're hired. Wait, what position? Oh, caravan, caravan guard, right? Yeah, sure, you can work for us. You look okay. Anything else? Uh, can you tell me about the job, lady? What's the job? I don't know anything about that. Caravan guard. Payment? Old Town. Sorry, no clue. God damn it. Nobody knows anything in this place. Alright, so she's gonna give me a job. Wait. Okay, I don't think I did that right. Old Town, Old Town. Alright, so here's the water pumps. Nobody likes the water merchants because it seems like they're, like, exploiting them or something. But I'm just trying to see where this junk is. Alright, I think if I leave the, uh, if I leave the hub and come back, I'll see if I've, like, discovered Old Town yet. Because I'm not about to, like, lose to some... Wait, are those people dead? What is that? There's just dead people in a church. Hello? A patient. Oh, mercy, holy flame. Okay. Guard for the children. So this is the hospital? What do you want? Uh, tell me about your work. What's this place about? Nice weapon you got there. Yeah, nice weapon you got there. Yeah, this is the only one I want in a firefight. What can I do for you? Uh, where can a guy go to get some quality weapons? What's up with these cathedral guys? Where can a guy find some action around here? Yeah, where can I find some quality weapons? Uh, I hear the water merchants are always packing the best shit. But people will say anything about the water merchants. It ain't here amongst this crowd, that's for damn sure. Alright, well thanks for that. Who's this guy? Thorndike. Uh, sir, I am a healer. You have no need for my service. Tell me about your work. What's this place about? How much do you charge? Maybe later. You know, I could help drum up some business. I'm very good at hurting people. Oh my lord. Tell me about your work. The Holy Flame commands that I heal people. Its wisdom is incontrovertible, so I obey. I have already learned much about the world beyond the cathedral. Where's the cathedral? It's a very beautiful place, although a little overcrowded these days. It's far to the south of us. We, faithful, gather to praise our master, the Holy Flame, and to pray for peace and unity. Now, if that will be all, tell me about peace and unity. So what's causing the overcrowding? Uh, this debate has become tiresome. Please leave me. Alright, well, I didn't want to talk to you either, asshole. Alright, who the fuck is this over here? You in the purple cloak. I want to talk to you. Yeah, knock, knock. I'm here. What's up? Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? Who's this bitch? Uh, I have come seeking a blessing. I'm interested in your church, and I want some information. Do you have any pamphlets? I'm just looking. Yeah, do you have any pamphlets for your cult? Continue to mock me, and I will have you thrown out. I wasn't mocking you. I was honest if you guys had pamphlets or not. I thought that was a real thing. All right, but I'm not mocking you. Honest. Mock you. Now, why would I do something like that? It's obvious that kindness and good temper aren't part of this religion. Sorry, I think I'll be leaving now. Uh, mock you. Why would I do something like that? Your words do not match your conviction. They burn of the heresy within. You will be cleansed, then forgotten. What? Excuse you? Well, who, the f who the fuck is this bitch? Just hit me in the face. Did you not know that I brought my shotgun? And I know how to use vats, bitch. How about you take one in the groin? Oh, are you kidding me? How the fuck did I miss with a 95% chance? Now the patients are getting up? Why are they attacking me right now? Alright, well, they started it. I'm about to end it, though. Look at her, she's like karate kicking me in the face. Everyone's so aggro in this game. Alright, please shoot her in the groin. Okay, what the fuck's going on? How did I miss twice? Are you kidding me? Alright, get me out of here. Fuck you guys. The 
it's like some kind of Oh my god, he just shot one of the patients. You guys are fucking crazy. Get me out of here. These guys are mental. I'm just looking for junk. God, they're just like capping me in the back of the head. Alright, I'm not interested in your karate. The whole town better not be like aggroed on me now because I'm going to be really pissed. Alright, I'm going to put my weapon away. And then I'm going to walk the fuck away. Get out of here. They literally shot one of their patients trying to hit me, so I don't think they're like the best people to talk to. Fuck all of you. Jesus Christ. I'm going back where the police are. Hello, can I like to report a crime, please? There's a crazy-ass cult living in the south end of town, and there's a lady trying to karate kick me, and but they shot a patient. Like, can you arrest them or something? Uh, we don't allow killing here, even if it is justified. Move along. Well, then go arrest them. They just shot an innocent man trying to shoot me for no reason. Alright. I still have to get to Old Town. Um, so someone said I can go into a bed and, like, rest until I'm healed or something like that. But I need to find Old Town first. I'm getting into all sorts of trouble, as expected. <laughs> I would love to actually have horses in Fallout, like a proper horse. Not like a Skyrim horse, but like a horse that actually helps. Like a Zelda horse. I would love to have a Zelda horse. And like ride around the wasteland like a cowboy. Take out all the raiders. Alright, so I just want to leave this place and then come back in and see if I've discovered Old Town, basically. And then it, it looks like I got a job from Butch, which is giving me like a 15% discount at all the stores, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of a discount. I'm a big couponer here. Especially in the wasteland. I love trade agreements. Alright, so let's leave the hub. Alright. So let's... Oh, nice. So because I talked to that crazy-ass lady, I know where the cathedral is, which is the bone yard. It's opened up on the map. Alright, so here's the hub. Okay, Old Town is here. Like, on the east side of town. I've discovered downtown, the entrance is where we were just at, and then the water merchants is where that bitch attacked me. So it doesn't look like we've discovered Old Town, so we need to go to the east from downtown. So, like, this way? Oh, look at this little baby transition zone. You know what, Bethesda? You guys are assholes. They are literally assholes. I was running around in the sewer, and the transition zone in the tunnel was, like, this big. It's in the dark, you don't have a torch, and they're like, Haha, what do you mean you can't find the way to get out of the sewers? I'm like, put a goddamn torch down here, or a light, or something. Let my Pip-Boy have a flashlight, how about that? I don't think I can trade with these guys. These are the guys I'm working for. You're gonna need to talk to Rutger, you talk to him, and he doesn't... Uh, the job pays 500 hub bucks when you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening to all the caravans that have disappeared recently, so collect any proof you might find. I think it's those damn water merchants. Alright. Yeah, they don't really sell anything, though. They're not, like, a legit, like, trading operation. So this is the guy we're working for. This is Butch. He's pretty ugly. What do you want? I mean, look at this guy. He's literally voiced by the guy from Sons of Anarchy, like, the husband. So there's, like, the main blonde guy, and his mom's, like, the leader of the gang, and then whoever she's married to, who's not his dad, that's this guy's voice actor. And he's, like, a very famous voice actor. He's always a villain. He's been in, like, a thousand movies. I just can't think of his name right now. Time is money. Chit-chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Do you? Can I barter with you? No, he doesn't. Oh, what does he have? He has buff out, first aid kit, and no money, honestly. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, that's the one. He's been in all kinds of stuff. And he does the intro, yep. Um, what can you tell me about Old Town? Old Town, please. Old Town's over on the east side. The Skags hang out there. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was Hellboy. I always forget, because he has so much makeup on when he plays that, that he did that. Um... I guess the guy who did Ivan Ooze from, like, the uh, Power Rangers movie was also a very famous actor, and nobody knew that he was uh, 
that he even played that role because of makeup and everything. Nobody thinks that he even did it. Oh, hell yeah. He would be a great Thanos. Problem is, is Thanos is gone now. Did you see the new trailer uh, for Spider-Man Beyond or Beyond the Time or whatever it is? It's like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, the new movie that the trailer just dropped. What the heck is the Skag? He said the Skag hang out there? What is a Skag? All right, I'll be back for you. Um, Here for what or the money? Uh, Yes. Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. I don't either, Chris. Like, I haven't watched movies, like, in forever. And the movies I do watch are old movies that I want to know, like, the lore for. Like, I just recently watched the first Friday the 13th. And I was like, oh my god, that's the lady from Freaky Friday. Oh my god, that's the lady who does Activia. And they're like, oh my god. They're like, no, she did all of this stuff before she ever did that. I was like, well, I didn't know, because I never saw any of her stuff. But uh, I think it's... I almost called her Lori Linney. That was funny. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis? No. What the hell's her name? But yeah, anyways, that was like her big movie. She got started. Her mom's like a really big movie star. Um, but I never knew what she was originally from because the first movie I saw of her was Freaky Friday. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, and I saw her in Freaky Friday and I loved her in it. And I'm like, oh my God, she's so cool. And then now I'm like, well, I have to go back and watch all of her stuff. So, and then I wanted to know where like Michael Myers and all that came from. So I had to go watch Friday the 13th or not, not Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is Jason. Um, I had to watch uh, her movie to see Michael Myers, which apparently he has nine movies. I don't know how, or like eight movies or something crazy like that. All right. I just want to leave. Thank you. All right. So he says there's something called the skag. Um, in the east side of town, but apparently I have to go this way. And then we need to look for the junk in the weapon shop. Loading only. Okay. There's a prostitute on the corner. There's like some, whatever these things are, skags. No, don't talk to them. There's a guy there. Big ass building. Okay, none of these have any kind of like marking on them that lets me know they're a gun store. I feel like if I just start walking through them, I'm going to get aggroed by someone. What is this? There's a lady over here. Hello? Is it my bedtime yet? What does that mean? This bed has seen better days and probably nights, too. Okay. Can I rest here? You see a bed, a makeshift bed. The material was scavenged from some other source. Someone said I like click on the bed and then I hit this button. You cannot rest at this location. Happy Valentine's Day. What? Oh my God, guys, it's Valentine's Day in uh, Fallout. Look at that, February 14th, 2162. Pitboy 2000, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> Why is that a thing? That there's literally, uh, there's like holiday dates in here. That's hilarious. Alright, let's see. So it won't let me rest here for some reason. Is it because it's like an own building? Alright. I only have 18 health. Well, I'm inside a building, so let's do some first aid on ourselves. I leveled up my first aid to 50. Fail to do anything. Alright, try again. You heal three points. Alright, let's do it again. Looks like I get XP from healing myself too. Why wouldn't I do this? You heal four hit points. Alright, let's just keep doing it. I'm gonna get like the Wasteland Medic perk or something from healing myself. And I can't tell if it's doing better because I have a first aid kit. Because um, it seems like I'm healing for more points. You're too tired. Well, how do I rest? I'm too tired. I don't want to rest outside. All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, watch your back. This isn't a safe place. Watch your back. Are you sure this is the place we're supposed to be, Chris? I feel like we're going to get shanked. But if you like think that this is Old Town, I'm, I'm like, I got my shotgun. Let me reload it. 
I don't trust this neighborhood at all. I feel like I am in the very bad part of town. Um, well, if I'm too tired to heal, do I have any more fruit left? No, I ate all my fruit, damn it. This is a sketchy but correct area. Oh shit. Alright. Uh, well, she lo this guy looks like he knows what's going on. Skag. What the hell is a skag? This place is neat. It's much better than my old place. I'm hungry. Where's my dog? Isn't my bedtime yet. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. How about you, lady? Is it my bedtime yet? This is, there's so much space. If I had any stuff, I would have plenty of room. Where's my dog? Why is everyone asking about a dog? This place is giving me the creeps. Alright, maybe this guy will talk to us? Sir? Hit us with it. There's so much space. Okay, he's all saying the same stuff. Alright. I'm just gonna start going into buildings till I find junk. I don't give a shit. We have, we have zombies to save. I have a water pump to fix. I'm on a deadline. What is this nasty infested... Is this... What is this? A bed mattress in terrible condition. Even the rats won't sleep in it. Oh my god. What is this place? This place is disgusting. Ugh. I feel like I need to take a shower, but we don't have any water, so I can't do it. I feel like I need to run back to my vault, take a shower with my new water chip, bitches, because I've earned that shit, and then I'm gonna come back because this place is making me feel dirty. Alright, let's see what's in this. Door. Okay, there's a person over there. Let's open this up. I feel like all I need is one person to see me snooping through their stuff and they're gonna, like, shoot me. This bed has seen a lot worse, a lot of use and wear. Something must have crawled between the mattresses and died, too. Ugh. Ugh. A twin bed mattress that has seen many better days than this one. Okay. So do I get up in this place from... Alright, can we go here? Let's go up and around. So some, So you're saying there's a weapon guy here? Like, a gun runner or something? Maybe it's this building. I'm looking for a weapon shop? Gotta find the gun shop, alright. Oh, shit! What can I do for you? Can you tell me about the gun shop? Sorry, no clue. Gun? I don't know anything about that. Guns? Never heard of it. Weapons? Shop. You don't know anything about that. Jacob? Never heard of it. Alright, well, we're just going to have to keep looking around. This guy doesn't know shit. Uh, yeah, who are you? Uh, the name's Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? How should I know if you don't tell me what you're selling? Good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? Never mind. How should I know if you don't tell me what you're selling? That sounds like an asshole thing to say. How about, good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? Uh, you seem okay. Here's what I got. Alright, what do you got? What do you got for me? 12 fucking stim packs. I'm taking those. Thank you. 20 rat away? Holy shit. I'll take five. Alright, what else you got? You got vodka? What is this? Antidote? Antidote to what? I don't know. Mentats? Buff out? Psycho? Of course you have Psycho. He's a drug dealer. Rad X. We gotta take some Rad X. I found that out last time. Oh, Jake? Okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I gotta buy some of this uh, Rad X, though. Uh, so, funny, funny, uh, funny story, I don't know how funny it was, but when we were running around the vault to get the water chip, there was a bunch of irradiated ghouls called, like, glowing ones or some shit, and so they're like white zombies that glow, they're like radioactive, and I'm just running around, doo 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 oh, this moniker's broken, this broken, second floor, third floor, walking around, taking my time, looking at lockers, I gained nine radiation levels, and then I looked at my inventory, and I'm like, what? And the whole vault was irradiated, but because it's Fallout 1 and the game's like, fuck you, my vault boy, my little thing that I have on my wrist, doesn't have a Geiger counter. So I had to do that whole thing not knowing I, it was irradiated, came back to the hub, bought a Geiger counter, and now my thing has a Geiger counter. But, like, that shit's standard in, like, Fallout 3 and beyond, so I didn't even think to, like, you know, I just thought it wasn't irradiated. So I almost turned into like a mutant. So that was not a fun time. So like this game is this game is not for the faint of heart. I'll tell you that. You got to be on your A game to play this. 
All right, he's got some super stim packs, some alcohol, and a leather jacket. I don't want to buy any drugs from him. I think I'm just I'm here for strictly medical shit. So I owe him two thousand three hundred thirty-six dollars. Um, how much will you give me for? So that wait, does he have any caps to throw on top of it? He doesn't. Okay. What do you think it would be better, Chris, to have more caps or to, like, sell this gun and take all of his drugs and then we'll just be, like, the drug guy and when shit hits the fane, we just take one of our drugs and fight through it? <laughs> I know drugs can be powerful, but I don't want to get, like, addicted. But I already have, like, 5,000 caps. But, like, he's got buff out. Buff out's really good. Look at all the psycho mentats. Yeah, what do you think? Hmm. I know we're going to need the rat away. He's got super stims too. Maybe I... Can, how much does this sell for? That's 2900 That's not too bad. I don't really think I'm strong enough to use plasma weapons right now. So if I sell it to him, he'll just keep it. We can come back for it later. Yeah, let's do that. So he owes me like $700. Bucks. Um, throw in two more of these. Oh shit. Okay, now he owes me like... $30. Is that like an alcohol? Will you throw in an alcohol? One alcohol? Hey, that actually worked. Twenty nine oh seven. I get all this stuff, and then uh, he's going to throw in the alcohol with me. Twenty nine ten, twenty nine oh seven. Alright, I think I'm going to do this. Let's offer it. Okay, that's a good trade. Alright, so now we have 34 stim packs, 5,000 caps, and we still have this giant-ass gun to sell and a lot of drugs. And an antidote. Oh, I bought an antidote. I didn't buy alcohol. Well, that's better. In case we get poisoned. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh, thank you. I still think I need to talk to these guys, don't I? Uh, what can I do for you? I'd like to buy some more stuff. I don't like your kind. Who are the fiends? Who are your friends over there? Who are your friends in the back room? Uh, who are your friends over there? Uh, that's Justin and Chad. They're here to make sure nobody causes any trouble. They look like a couple of pansies. Nice to meet you guys. I'm just going to hang out for a while if it's alright with you guys. Alright. So that's a thug. And that's a thug. So you think it's in this room? Chris, it's in this room? There's like... Oh my god, there's like dead people back here. Go one building to your left. Okay. I don't know. They got, like, people sleeping in the back. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh my god, so is it honestly going to be the last building that I go into? That wouldn't surprise me. That's kind of how my luck goes. Oh shit, this guy? He looks like he's important, but there's, like, cops there. Police of the hub. Police of the hub. Jacob the arms dealer. Okay, so here's the arms dealer. So who the hell did I just talk to? I thought that other guy was the arms dealer. Uh, hi, welcome to Jake's. I've got some great merchandise in stock. Feel free to look around. Um, I'd like to make a deal with you. What are you selling here? Tell me about... Yeah, tell me about yourself. While I've been around, used to be with the Union of Atomic Workers, sort of like the Brotherhood, but less friendly. They wanted to keep to themselves, and I, well, I wanted to see the world and be my own boss, so I left. Okay. The mutants wiped him out about 10 years ago, so I guess I made the right decision. I eventually settled down here. The caps don't like my trade, or the cops don't like my trade, and I've been uh, roosted more than once um, by some of the merchants here. Uh, tell me what you got. Good meeting you. Let's see what you got. Tell me what you got. I deal with high end arms, the best stuff you can find this side of the Brotherhood. And since the Brotherhood doesn't deal with outsiders, I gotta say, I'm the best. I have a sniper rifle, and you would be hard pressed with the flamethrower fuel anywhere else in the waste. Oh yeah, I've got a Geiger counter too. Very rare. I've also got a Geiger counter. Alright, so we... So before... So we talked to Vance, and this is Jacob. Um, the junk is found in the crate in the southeast corner. Alright. Oh my god, Royal. Uh, it has been... It has been a day. So, Royal, you remember yesterday when I was talking to the, uh, the feral ghouls? Or not the feral, the friendly ones? And I kept trying to figure out where I had to go in the sewers to get the parts to fix their pump before I took the chip. 
that piece of junk we found uh, when we attacked the, the mole rats, that was the junk in the fuse that we needed. And I sold it to a traveling merchant and it's gone. But I cannot fix it without the fuse. That was a quest item. And then, yeah, I was also asking if I should invest my money in drugs or bottle caps um, because we found the drug dealer in town. So I'm in the slums looking for junk right now because the friendly ghouls don't have water because I stole their water chip, so I feel really bad. <laughs> okay, good, because I bought a lot. We've got everything from Psycho to Rataway to Radex to Super Simpax to Antidotes. So I, I sold the... We still have to sell our, uh, that laser rifle we got from Larry. Royal knows all about Larry. Leather jacket wear an asshole who called me a normie. We took care of him real quick, though. We don't use that offensive term. We don't use the term normie. Uh, yeah, can you tell me about this sniper rifle, please? Uh, ah, the DKS. It's a fine long-range weapon. It was originally 308 caliber, but we rechambered it for the more common 223 round. We tuned... Okay, these things go too fast. What did he say? Um, oh, shit. I need... What did he say at the end? We tune the barrel too. Most importantly, check out the trigger smooth, huh? The trigger breaks perfectly now. Overall, this is a good choice for hunting any type of animal. I mean, I'm not going to use it to hunt an animal. I'm going to use it to hunt a super mutant. But I assume the principle's the same. I need to know how much damage it does. And also, do you have a lot of that ammo? Um, let's, yeah, let's see if we can make a deal. I already got a Geiger, a Geiger counter. I just pay like $1,500 for it, which is bullshit. All right, I'm taking all your stim packs. Give me all of those. He's got 24,000 caps. That's pretty good. Five missiles. What is this? A flamer. Oh my god, he has a flamer. He has a flamethrower. Grenades. A pulse grenade. A bazooka. Oh my god, where has this guy been? Combat armor. Combat armor. And sniper rifles. And he has, does he have 223? And he has 800 bullets. Holy shit. Small energy cells, rockets. Ammo for the shotgun. 14 millimeter pistol. And a combat, a combat shotgun? Um, excuse me. A what now? It has 12 of 12 shots of shotgun ammo. How much damage does it do? I don't, let's make a deal. One combat shotgun. And uh, how about some combat armor? How does that sound? How about, how about this? I want to look like a cyborg. $7,000? Oh my fucking god. Alright. How about... How about this? Yeah, that's 5000 Yeah, how do you like that? 5000 And, uh... Yeah, I know. I don't think I can get away not having... I gotta sell the rifle. I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's the first super mutant I ever killed. He called me a normie and I took his gun. I mean... So now it's gonna, like, better equip me so I can kill other people that are also assholes. Plus, we have to go back and visit the cons. I didn't, I, I have not forgotten what the cons have done to me. We need to go back and take them out. Alright, so I have 4,000... Okay, so... So, hang on. Math in this... Math in this game is not the easiest to do. And math in general is not the easiest to do, let's be honest. Alright, so I'm at 6998. So I need, like, 400 more bucks? About. Okay, shit. Now I'm over by ninety dollars. Can I take some out? Uh, eighty-two. No, not eight hundred and twenty-two. Eighty-two. Zero eight two. There we go. Okay, so now I need fourteen more. Fourteen. Okay, math is hard. You ever try to do math and then the game's like, hey, you can only do nine 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 max, and then have to do all that in your head while clicking a thousand buttons, that's Fallout. But I fucking love it. Like, you know, it is what it is, but it's fun when you figure it out. <laughs> I'm sitting in my head like, uh, 999 nine, nine plus 4 plus 3, 2, take the 1, divide by 7, subtract the, okay, maybe 5, okay, oh, I'm 40 over. <laughs> like, they don't make the math easy in this game. I just want to hit, like, a make current amount button or something. But, you know, back in the day, they assumed everybody knew how to do math. 
<laughs> okay, I think we're good. I'm buying all this stuff. Uh, so far, this was the best guy we've found in the hub so far. I'm going to offer. Okay, that's a good trade. I've got drugs. I've got a Geiger counter. I have more drugs. I have a super shotgun. I don't even need this shotgun. Do you want this shotgun? I'll sell it to you right now. Or maybe I should buy more bullets. Ooh. <laughs> I always loved, like, we used to have teachers that were like, well, you're never going to use a calculator, or you're never going to have a calculator next to you when you need to do math, ever. And I was like, oh, you mean, like, my cell phone, my computer, my anything that has a battery is now a calculator? Is that what you meant, teacher, that we're never going to have a calculator? And then I'm like, she made it sound like people who do their taxes don't have a calculator. Like, who just does their taxes in their brain? I was like, no, you have a calculator, another calculator, and like two people to check your work. You're never just like, oh, let me freehand all these math that I have to do to get my number 50 boxes down. I'm like, you need a fucking calculator, bitch. But she got what was coming to her, because now look now look who has a calculator, right? Hey, Lone Star. Oh, I almost called you Lone Star. Hey, Lone, how's it going? Oh, yeah, we just started. We... Okay, so remember last uh, last stream when you came in, Lone? When I sold that junk uh, to that merchant, it was a quest item. So I messed up the whole quest for Necropolis. So I have to find junk to repair uh, that water pump. So we're in the slums and I'm like dealing with drug dealers and stuff, trying to get junk because I didn't know that was a quest item. And then we can fix the ghoul's uh, water pump. But this guy's selling us, like, a bunch of stuff, so I'm pretty excited about it. We just got a super shotgun. I tried, but the guy that I sold it to is a traveling merchant. So I don't know how to, like, encounter him again or if he'll even hold it. Like, I encountered him in the wasteland. Yeah, I don't know where he is. He's, like, random. The game's, like, walk around and one in every 15 squares you'll find a merchant. And there's one of five merchants. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of time. I'm like, these people are literally drowning right now. Or not drowning. They don't have any water. Like, if I take too long and I come back, they're just going to be dead. Just, like, dead on the ground. I'm going to feel terrible about it. <laughs> yes, Royal. I also agree with your comment. Suck it times ten to all the middle school teachers. Because there were some asshole middle school teachers. We've all had them. Telling me I'm never going to have a calculator. Yeah, they're going to be drowning in no water. They're going to be drowning in so much. So much air, they're going to be drowning in it. Alright, I think I've sold everything I can to this guy. Unfortunately, I sold my prized rifle. But I do have a super shot or a super shotgun now. How much how much how about how much for some more bullets, honestly? I'm like, I'm obviously investing in shotguns. So I should get more shotgun shells. How much for all your shotgun shells? Two thousand dollars, are you fucking kidding me? Two thousand dollars for shotgun shells? Alright, you know what? You're expensive, but you're worth it. Let's just get up and we'll get more money later. We're about to do that job for the Crimson Caravan. We should get some cash from that. Alright. It's asking me to do math again. Alright, let's do that. Shit. Alright, now I'm 6, 7, 8. I'm 48 over. 48. Okay, there we go. How's that? Offer. That's a good trade. Alright, perfect. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, I... And she was so mean about it. Like, you're never going to have a calculator. You have to do all of this stuff. And, you know, she would rather sit there and watch kids struggle for, like, two hours than say, hey, press the star on your calculator and then this button, this button, and you can get your fractions to be, like, percentages or whole numbers. She would rather have someone sit there and try to do it themselves and take 16 as you know times as long and then wonder why the kids could never finish the test. I was like, bitch, let them use a freaking calculator. Like, that's ridiculous. Make them do all that work. So, she didn't last very long, obviously. They caught on to her bullshit. And all you do is look at memes. <laughs> uh, but do you use those memes for the good of humanity and for the betterment of your species? Then it's all good, right? As long as we use the memes to spread, to spread cheer, then it's time well spent. 
Oh my god, you know how I know I forgot everything from school? I read a meme and it was like, how many of you guys remember the Pythagorean theorem? How many of you guys remember A equals B equals C? And it was going into all of this like formulas. And I was like, as soon as I walked out of the door, I vomited that. I just, I purged it right out of my brain. I was like, ugh, I don't need that anymore. And I just threw all of algebra, long division, um the shit you had to do in trig, all that out the window the second I walked out of school. I felt like 70 pounds lighter. I'm like, holy crap. Is this what life is like when you don't have to worry about shit like that? I am not a math guy. I'm not a math guy. I do like basic math, like math that's practical. I call it practical math. Like I want to buy a phone. That phone is $100, but that phone is 10% off. How much does the phone cost? And I'm like, bitch, it costs 90 like, that's the fun math, right? That's like the math that we like because it benefits us. But long division, trigonometry, equations, figure out if this rock is going to fall and hit a train that's going 500 miles the other way. I don't want to do that. That's a stupid question. Like, I'm not the guy to call for that, and I, I understand that about myself. <laughs> Oh, that's me, Chris. I'm like, do not talk to me about that. I'm like, I don't want to hear that word. It's a dirty word to me. <laughs> oh my god. I love it, Royal. <laughs> like, we're all sitting in class like, can we not take math? Can we do art or, like, something fun? And they're like, no. You need to learn how to shoot a rocket ship with gravity and planets and asteroids and all this shit. I'm like... I am not at that level. Like, that is not for me. I, I'm in the wrong classroom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I hated that. Yeah, letters and numbers should not mix. Like, I used to tell people, like, I had a teacher one time and she would give you that question, like, uh, find X or Y is looking for X or something like that. It's like, where's X? And I'm like, stop asking about your X all the time. He's not interested in you. It's like, we don't want to ask about your damn ex anymore. We can't find X. X is gone. <laughs> we had her dying. <laughs> like, we don't want to talk about the X anymore. Yeah, actually, I really liked my uh, creative writing class. I had a super great teacher. She was super nerdy. She was like a Viking. She was German. She had blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh, she made us do Romeo and Juliet. We had to do like five old English vocab words every week. Uh, we made videos. We performed. She would literally go. Okay, so she would LARP, like live action role play. But she would go to a place where you become part of a nation, like red, green, blue, or red. And you armor up like in medieval times. And then charge down a hill and like beat the shit out of other people who also signed a waiver and was like, I am okay with you hitting me. I want to pretend like I'm fighting in a war. Let's kick the shit out of each other. And that's what she would do. And this was like back like 20 years ago. So she like took it to the next level. And she's like, yeah, we get on the red team. And we all have red. And this is my battle armor. And this is my fake blood. And this is the scar from when someone on the green team hit me. And this is when I tackled someone. And this is when I did. I was like, oh my god, you are like so cool. She's like literally like a Viking. I was like, she's just like, I just like attacking people. And then I come and teach English, you know, once I get that all out of my system. I'm like, that sounds amazing. Yeah, everything other than math. I'll take that, thank you. I think the only, what was it, ju my junior or senior year of high school was the only time I could pick classes. Like, everything else was like, you have one choice or the other. This choice or the other. That was all the pick you got. And you had to just sit through all those terrible classes. Like, no thank you. Alright, so we did the, uh, we did the trade, so let's put our, uh, all of our stuff back on real quick. If I can remember how to do it. Let's see how, how much better we are. Okay, so we're taking the metal armor off, which was, how much was the metal armor? 15, and we're putting on combat armor, which is 25, with a 30% resistance to fire, which might be strong enough to kill that super mutant we still have to kill. Hey Candy Cane, how's your day going? Good to see ya. You just missed us do our big uh, trade, 
We got some combat armor. We've got a battle shotgun. I bought a bunch of drugs, uh, stim packs, radax, antidotes. Oh my god, look at this thing. So this does 12 damage. How much does this do? 15 to 25 with a 22 range. This is a 14 range. So I can shoot even farther with this, and it takes 12 gauge. Hell yeah. Check that baby out. You know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to the cons. I'm going to where Larry was to shoot that guy with the flamer. And uh, anyone else who tries to fuck with me. I got my combat shotgun. I ain't dealing with it. Oh, <laughs> you slept in. I've had days like that where I just like wake up and I'm like, what year is it? Where am I right now? What's going on? Oh, I know. Like, Lone, when I went to school... They literally, like, laughed at us and made fun of us for people wanting to do wood shop, auto shop, metal shop, welding. Like, the guidance counselors would literally laugh at the students and tell them that they were stupid or, like, their transcript's not going to look good or, like, no college will ever take them or it was, like, a remedial class. Like, that's how they treated it. And I was like, why do you think we don't have any trade skilled men or, like, why are the people who know trade skills making so much money? It's because none of our generation went into it, and now that's what's in demand. And, like, they're the ones who are laughing now because anyone who's, like, a good mechanic or a welder or electrician or a plumber, they're making bank right now. And I'm like, you tell all those teachers, like, that laughed at you because you weren't good at math. I'm like, it didn't fucking matter. I'm like, they're making way more money than anyone else, and they don't have any of the debt. So, I'm like, good for them. Yeah, exactly. It's another, another blunder of America, I'll say that. <laughs> no, they thought it was better for me to learn how to do what trigonometry is about trees and story problems and stuff like that than practical skills like taxes and all kinds of stuff. Like, how about an auto shop class to learn how to like change your oil or fix a flat? How about a class about budgeting and how to write checks? How about a taxes class? How about anything that's practical? But no, I had to learn all kinds of stupid shit. I agree. I don't. I don't think the schooling systems that's great either. And then the, you know, like the books and everything else. It's just like all old, recycled crap. Thank God the internet came out. That's all I have to say. Thank God that we had access to the internet when we did to kind of look some stuff up. All right, so we're not too bad. I only have about a thousand caps left. Um, I'm really just gonna rock out with my uh, shotgun and let's sell everything else back to this guy and then let's get the junk. And I'm ready to take out some super mutants with my new combat armor. We look kind of like a stormtrooper. I like the uh, I like the sunglasses we have. We're looking re we're looking really dapper. I feel like we're a little better prepared. Oh, did you have to take a Texas history class? Like instead of U.S. history or global studies, it was like Texas history. Auto mechanics are great. Like, if you get yourself a good auto mechanic, like, you want to send them a Christmas card and put them in the will. Like, a good a good mechanic is a lifesaver. Oh my god. Everybody talks about, like, state history class. I took global studies. I was like, screw that. America is not the only country. I want to learn how other countries, you know, function. So I learned about uh, Britain, I learned about Europe, I learned about Germany, the Netherlands, Russia, Australia. Um, and then so people will be like, hey, do you know the capital of this state? Or do you know what this state is? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't study that map. I kind of studied the world map. I can tell you about the states and capitals of other countries. And they're like, oh my god, I can't believe you don't know all the states in America. And I was like, listen, that was not taught or emphasized in any of my classes. They barely told us our capital, let alone all the other states. I'm like, no one's that interested to, like, remember all that information. I, and now you can just Google it. Like, oh, what's the capital of this state? Or what's the state bird of this state? Like, why would I memorize any of that stuff now? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, I think we're... Yeah, I just have to sell this stuff, and then we have to figure out how to rest, because I can't use first aid because I'm too tired. Uh, how's it going, friend? Are you looking to buy something? Your selection is good, but I'm looking for something with a bit more punch. Any idea where I could go? Well, you might try the Gunrunners over in the Boneyard. They'll probably have something to suit your needs. I've heard the guys at the Brotherhood of Steel pack some pretty powerful hardware, too, so you might check with them. 
I fucking love the gun runners. Like the gun runners in Fallout New Vegas are amazing. And if the gun runners are in this game, we have to visit them as soon as I get a lot more money. Like for real. Um, Alright, but I still needed to sell to you, guy. I want to sell still. Alright, I want to sell my old shitty armor. Uh, where is it? You can take this shitty metal armor. I don't want it. And this shitty old shotgun. And you can give me 2,000 caps, please. Where's this caps? There we go. Give me... I need all of that. Thank you. 999. Nine, nine. And then I need another thousand. Uh, that's one. Twenty-three. There we go. Offer that. All right, perfect. So we still got some caps. We're not doing too bad. So what does that put us at? Four hundred shotgun shells, thirty-eight stim packs, and three thousand caps. Hell yeah! All right, I think our inventory is all cleaned up too. We are good to go. I love a clean inventory. Now, let me just make sure. Yeah, the only thing I don't know what to use is I have this tool. A super tool set containing various useful tools. I'm guessing this enhanced my repair skill by having it in my pocket. Uh, the radio, which nothing's come on the radio every time I try to use it. Now uh, there's only static on the radio. Combat knife I'll still keep. Flares are fine. Yeah, we're good. Everything's good. Alright, so Chris said this is in the southeast corner of this store. There's junk. So let's try and find it. I can't change the camera, so I can't really tell where the door is for this place. I see this door. You cannot get in there. Where's the other door, then? There we go. Open that up. Uh, found in the crate in the southeast. Oh wait, southeast is this way. This way. It's over here. Oh, in a crate? You can look in crates? Oh my god. There it is, Chris. There's the junk. Okay, well now, game changer, we know we can look in crates. Give me this. Son of a bitch. Alright, we gotta go back quick. Before those people drown. Alright, where's the transition zone? I go back to Necropolis. I'm also going to try and take on that Flamer Super Mutant and see if this armor helps me at all. Alright, so let's go... Is there a way to get to the map from, like, here? Or do you always have to go to, like, the exit zone in the city? I feel like there's a button for it, I just don't know what it is. If you were here yesterday, Chris, and you saw what I'm about to fight, you might change your mind just a little bit. <laughs> no, I know. Like, they have a super version. They basically turned us into Ash in about, what, 1.0 seconds yesterday? It was very offensive what they did yesterday. Alright, take me to the Necropolis, please. Oh, and look, he added the Brotherhood to our map just from talking to someone. Very nice. Yeah, like, we didn't even get a chance to react. You have stumbled upon a pack of rad scorpions. We're critically hit for nine points, bypassing your armor. It knocks you off your feet. You've been poisoned. Oh my god, what a turn that was. Holy shit. Alright, time for the super shotgun. Shoot it in the groin, please. No, shoot it in the brain. Boom. Rad scorpion was hit in the brain for 15 points, and then we can run away with my perk. Oh, that's right, I did buy an antidote, didn't I? Alright, let's do another Vats in the eyes. Oh my god. Rad Scorpion was critically hit in the eyes for 61 points in a forceful blow. 61 points of damage? Holy, okay. Level up. Oh yeah, get out of here, you're getting shot. In the, in the brain. Okay, this, I'm already in love with the shotgun. Pass my turn. Reload. There we go. For crushing your enemies, we got 220 XP and some scorpion asses. I don't know what to do with the scorpion tails, but I got some. Okay, that went much better than last time. I love this shotgun. 
We didn't take that much damage either. Uh, I'm gonna take one stim pack though. I'm a little hurt. There we go, that's not too bad. So is poison last forever or does it go away? Can I like walk it off? Oh shit. I don't know, like, I feel like I should save the antidote for those, uh, what are those things in Fallout New Vegas? The, like, the orange moss that kill you in, like, two hits? Because I know there's probably, like, stronger poisons than that, right? Let's see if it goes, yeah, Kazan, oh yeah, those things. I hope I don't run into those, those things are terrifying. Alright, so here's the hub, or Necropolis. Yeah, those things are so annoying, and, like, if you're not strong enough to, like, kill them before they get, like, close to you, you just get taken out, like, done. Alright, so I have to go to the watershed. Um, so apparently we were at the right sewers. It's these sewers where Larry is. Also, Chris, don't mind the bodies. This was my handiwork yesterday without a super shotgun. And yes, I had a combat knife. Don't mess with me. Um, so we took out all the super mutants. <laughs> Um, the watershed's, like, back into the right, but there's one super mutant here that has a flamethrower, and they basically toasted our ass in, like, one second, and I kind of want to come back and kill it. I tried to talk for, like, three times. I tried to, like, flirt with him. I tried to wink at him. I tried to whisper sweet nothings to him. He was not interested, so this is how it ended, as it always ends. This is when I, I take the shotgun out. All right. So what should we do first? Because I, I could sneak by and repair it, but I think we should save, first of all. We'll call this one... Hey, game. I have the junk. There you go. Because apparently the game didn't want to tell me that I needed the junk to finish this quest. I thought I could do it, because my speech skill is super high, and I'm not saying I would, like, marry him, but I would definitely tell him I'd go on a date if it got me into the, uh, into the water chamber, but he was not into it. And then I kept talking to him and, like, trying to do word games with him, and he was not interested in it, so. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I got combat armor now, bitch. So he's right over here. Um, he's, like, hidden right now. Let's go into stealth mode. Stealth mode activate. Let's do this. And let's see if the shotgun helps. Wait, what? Oh my god, Royal. Royal, he's not here. The bitch ran away. And he left something? What is that? 10 millimeter pistol. Uh... Okay, so the super mutant is just MIA. All right, that's not scary. All right, maybe he went back to like tell the lieutenant that uh, I kicked his ass and shot all his friends. I mean, honestly, he should be freaking terrified of me. I took out all of his people. All right, goddammit. I specifically leveled up my repair skill because I'm a good person and I want to fix this fucking thing because I took the water chip, so can we please do it? Okay, he says equip the junk. Where's the junk? Uh, put the junk here. Okay. Switch to the junk. Click on the junk. Use the junk on this. You are having difficulties making these parts work. What does that mean? <laughs> Game, you need to be more specific. What am I supposed to do? Do it again. The massive pump struggles to life after you successfully install the missing parts. You have gone up a level and gained a thousand experience points for fixing the pump. Hell yeah, we did it. I always follow through on my promises. Don't let don't let these ghouls say any shit about me that I just took the water chip. I came back. I didn't have to come back. I came back. Oh my god. So, literally when we were down in the sewers royal and we killed like seven mole rats and there was like those four um, ghouls that were just sitting there that were dead... That's where we picked up the junk from, and that was the part. But it just looked like a piece of shit, like a, next to where the rats take shits and there was bones next. It didn't look like a quest item. And it weighs like 10 pounds. So I'm like, why am I walking around with this shit? And that was the part. Remember when I was like, where do I go? Where do I go? What part of the sewers? That was the part. 
<laughs> so I felt attacked. Personally attacked. Where he was like, I know you're not going to come back. I'm going to get my level on. Let's see what we got. Alright, we are level 7, and we need about 6,000 XP for another level. I think I'm max on small guns, right? Can you go over 100? You can go over 100? Firearms, pistols, small machine guns, and rifles. So I'm guessing the shotgun is under small guns? The operation of maintenance of really big guns, miniguns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, and such. Energy-based weapons, how to aim and operate. Weapons that use lasers or plasma and then throwing. Skill of muscle-propelled range weapons, throwing knife spears, and grenades. I did try to throw a grenade earlier, and it literally blew up in my face because I have, like, chicken little arms. And we might need to level up throwing because I don't like that my grenades go, like, one centimeter in front of me and then blow up. We could do first aid. I don't think sneak's really helping me. I could do lock picking. Okay, so... What I found out in the hub, remember that guy Vinny or whatever the hell his name is? He has a vault. Like, he's a loan shark, but he has a vault. And I'm like, maybe I sneak in there and then I do, you know, some master, some master of lock picking and I get that open. And maybe there's like 5,000 bottle caps in there and then I just like either kill him or I get the hell out of town. Like, he's a loan shark. Like, who's going to cry for him? And it sounds like he's like exploiting people, so I'm, I'm not that torn up about it. Also, I think it's, like, drug money, too, and I'll, like, get better use out of it than him. So we might be, like, visiting him for a loan in the future. I just don't think I have enough lockpicking to, like, do it right now. But that's the only vault I've come across so far. Uh, stealing doesn't seem to really help us. The ability to make the things that others own disappear can be used to steal from people or places. Traps. I don't know if this is, like, big later on. I haven't run into any traps. The finding and removal of traps. Also, the setting of explosives for demolition purposes. Is this what... It, wait, Royal, is this how we use dynamite? Is it traps? So it's an explosive trap? Because it says, also, the setting of explosives for demolition purposes. We might need to go back to Vault 15 just to get the bomb, I think. That's very weird. It has, like, its own perk. Okay. Science doesn't really seem to be helping us. Covers a variety of high-tech skills such as computers, biology, physics, and genealogy. Or geology, so rocks. Uh, okay, I, I'm not leveling up my repair skill anymore. I already did all that for the, the pump. I could level up gambling? Did we find a casino? Dynamite is a trap. Okay, so you have to, like, have someone walk by it and then I can detonate it somehow? That makes sense. That would have helped us against the flamer guy, I think. I would have, like, set the dynamite in the doorway and then hit the button as soon as they came out. What's outdoorsmen do, too? Practical knowledge of the outdoors and the ability to live off the land. The knowledge of plants and animals. Oh, you had to, That's so crazy. I had to set a timer. I don't know how I would be able to figure that out. Like, how much time would pass and them to step on it. All right, I'm going to do five first aid. I'm going to do... I really want my speech checks to go well. We're not doing terrible on money. So let's just put it all in speech right now. Yeah, 101 speech and some more barter, because I like money. And then a little bit of first aid. That should be good. All right, I feel much better now that we save these people. I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go pay a visit to uh, What's-His-Face and say, hey, I came back. Do you have anything to say about it? And see if maybe I get like a quest reward. Probably not, because this game doesn't really give quest rewards, but we're going to try. Maybe he'll give me, like, that ghoul mask or whatever. Okay, hey. I fixed your shit. There we go. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is that other super mutant, like, ran away. Like, we could take out Set... Like, he's the aggressive ghouls. Um, but I want to kind of see what this guy says. But yeah, the junk was, like, over here. Uh, where all these, like, dead bodies are. It was, like, up over this way. We literally just, like, walk by it. Nothing out of... Okay, can I climb up there? I want to finish up here, because I have, like, 
quests to do, too. I have to check my pit boy. Climb up the ladder. Okay, so there's, like, the church, the Brotherhood of whatever, or the Church of Adam. So this just takes us back to the same spot. I don't want this. Okay, it's not the easiest to, like, get back to places. I will say that. Let's go back to the start. See, I'm trying to remember in my head now how to get to where the, uh, the good ghouls are. Like, what sewers I have to take. Let's go this way. I feel very powerful with my combat armor. I feel like we can take on the wasteland. Oh, so I have to enter the sewers. There's like no... There's no transition zone. Alright, alright. So, Chris, would you say, like, the amount of lack of health with Quest is pretty similar to Morrowind as it is in Fallout 1, or is it worse in Morrowind? I just want to know what I'm going to be... I got to get myself prepared for what I'm going to have to deal with. Alright, so where's the other ladder, then? Yeah, that one just takes us up there. That's not the right one. Oh, it does give you a quest log? Okay, thank god. This game, like, literally just, like, types out the, uh, the objective. Like, you go to status, and then, like, I'll say Necropolis. And it'll say, okay, fix the Necropolis water pump. That's all the help you get. And then when you finally figure it out and do it, they just cross a line through it. It's literally all it does. I'm like, thanks, game. You're so amazing. So I'm glad to... Having a quest log would be... You know, I, I probably cry at this point to have a quest log. Oh, there it is. Jeez, it's so hard to find, like, the uh, transition zone sometimes. So I think the good ones are at the start of Necropolis. They're, like, in the, uh, the hotel. You go to the hotel and then you go down the sewer. And then they're... All the way over here. Wait, what? What, did it, what just attacked me? Oh, there's a mole rat down here. Alright. How about you take one of these groin shots? Okay, he did not take one of the groin shots. Look how many shots this combat shotgun gets. My other one is two. Look at this one. It got like seven shots in this. I'm just going to keep going for the groin until I get it. Give me that groin. Give him another one. There, it was a greater mole rat. Alright. Take us out of combat. <laughs> That's my signature move. When all my uh, speech and diplomacy fails me, you gotta go for the groin shots. It's the signature move. It's a signature move taught by the survivors of Vault 13 by... Uh, sensei uh, eyebrows himself, aka the overseer, the groin assassin. You know what? I'm I'm not against it. It could literally be a title. Yeah, I don't know either. Like, how can you give me an option like that? Like, I'm gonna do it. All right, I've returned. I've done it, zombie men. I have returned. I am not an asshole. Your water is fixed. Let me reload this real quick. Thank you for repairing the water pump, and I hope all is well with your people when you return with what you have found. Wait, what? Thank you for repairing the water pump, and I hope all is well with your people when you return with what you have found. Okay, well, that was nice. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Thank you. Wait, did that just do something? No, okay. Well, he seems pretty nice. At least he was like, thank you for doing something. Usually everyone else in this game is like, yeah, whatever. Um, tell me about, um, water pump, right? Uh, we get our water from the place under the watershed. It might have something to do with that. Um, water. Okay, same thing. Um, let's say thanks. Never heard of it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he has anything to barter with us. Uh, he will not barter with me. All right, so he literally has nothing. So can I just click on these crates? 
boxes. These wooden boxes are falling apart. No, okay, so it's just certain crates. Alright. I just wanted to see if he was going to give us a quest or something, but we can head out now. I feel much safer with my uh, my combat shotgun and my, my armor. And that guy with the flamer knew to run away because I was coming back for his ass. But if we run into that guy in the wastelands, I will have a Shaolin showdown with him. We will have a cowboy standoff and only one of us will survive. He has just become my rival. He has become my Gary. I will remember you super mutant with a flamer. You haunt me in my dreams. You know, okay, Royal, I want your opinion. Should we take out these aggressive ghouls and just leave the pacifists to run the city? What do you think? These guys are like human haters. Like the super mutants hate normies, these guys hate people with skin. Hmm, decisions. You know what? I hate haters, too. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Fuck these guys. Like, when I was all alone getting attacked by their feral ghouls, they didn't give a shit. I fixed the water pump for the good ghouls, and they're not good ghouls. So, you know what? I know they're going to give uh, the peaceful one shit, so I'm just going to take them out. It'll be like my last, uh, my last good deed for these guys. I better get, like, the zombie lover perk, which is like if I hug a zombie, I heal HP or some shit. <laughs> They're double intolerant, so I think we need some wasteland justice right about now. If I can figure out how to get the, the map back opened up. Alright, so we'll start with this side of town, and we'll work our way into the church. Engage stealth mode. Dun 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 Metal Gear. Hey, go that way. Wait, go back in stealth mode. Go in stealth mode. Alright, stealth mode. And then he just runs. Stop Stop running. We're in stealth mode. Alright, walk. Thank you. Engage. Give me a vats. Give me a, give me a groin shot. Um, ganger, a ganger ghoul was critically hit in the groin for 36 hit points. Ouch, that had to hurt. You blew his dick right off. Awesome. That's the kind of text I like to raid. Alright. So now because of my perk, I have two bonus movement spots. I can just, like, move over here. Uh, I'm just going to go right in the doorway and start picking them off. Okay, pass my turn. Yeah, we're just going to start picking them off. Alright, you get one in the head. Oh, he took it, too. 21 points. Alright. It literally says Ganger Ghoul. So there's like a they're literally a gang of ghouls. I don't have time for that. In the groin. No groin for you. Ghoul gang was hit in the groin for 23 points and was killed. Critical groin damage. Alright, this guy's not even looking at us. Uh go for the groin. Okay. Give him another one. I'm literally blowing these guys, blowing their legs off. I think I have 10 shots with this thing. This is so much better than the other one. I feel like I'm, like, super powerful now. It's going much better for us. Uh, let's do a groin. Alright, anyone else? Any more gangers want to fight me? How about this guy? Let's shoot him in the leg. Okay, see that? So, okay, so if you're too in the doorway and you turn into the wall, your bullet, like, clips and then it, like, doesn't go through and it's super annoying. Uh, let's do the eyes. Ghoulgar was critically hit in the eyes for 32 hit points. The ghoul is wearing no armor there. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, he's trying to run away. I don't think I can hit him from here. No, I can't. So let's go for this guy in the groin. Ooh. That was, I think I blew it off. Uh, ghoul guard was critically hit in the groin for 46 hit points. The pain is too much for him, and he collapses like a rag. I mean, whoever wrote the dialogue for the, the kill shots is very good in this game. Alright, let's walk this way. Go after this guy, don't let him escape. Walk this way. Where does he think he's going? Get this guy. I got extra skill points now for walking, there's no way you're getting away. Oh, you're trying to run to your backup? 
Guess what? I got an enhanced range. You're dead, bitch. Take one. Take one to the torso. Okay, this is going so much better than next time. I literally feel like Termer- uh, Termer- I can't say that word. The Terminator right now, with my military stuff. I've come back to take out the gangbangers. Alright, and then let's move a little bit. I've almost aggroed all of them, but... Alright, let's do a burst shot. Out of ammo. Alright, reload. Single shot. There we go. Give me another one. Oh, this is going so good. Yeah, we're definitely taking the leader out. There's no way I'm not doing that. Because even, like, the ghouls down in the sewer were saying, like, how they didn't like these guys, and they control the water, and they're very, like, aggressive. Um, so I think they'll appreciate us uh, taking care of their problem for them. I think this is the best item I've ever bought in the game. If I'm being honest. Oh, it's so good. Okay, he took two shots for some reason. The ghouls are, like, very resistant to damage, which I don't really like. But look at the range, too. This isn't really like a shotgun, is it? It's more of like a hunting rifle. Look how far I'm shooting them from. It's very nice. It's like all the fun of a shotgun and all the range of a rifle. But I'm not worried about ammo. I literally bought like 400 shots, so I gotta get my money's worth. I bet we could take on the cons, honestly. I think we could. We're much better equipped. If I could figure out how to use grenades, we would just be able to, like, end them in one hit. Oh, there's some more over here. I didn't even see these guys. Because you can kind of, like, see how I can walk back now because of my perk. And then, like, set them up and then turn around and then, like, get damage and then, like, walk away. That's so much better. Like, they can't get any hits in, and then you just turn around and just drop them. Hell yeah. Alright, there goes all the bad ghouls. Let me reload. Let's get out of combat. Alright, for slaying your opponents, we got 930 XP. Hell yeah. Let's check them out. They don't really have that much loot, usually, but... We did find that plasma pistol on one of them, so... I'm just gonna take a look through their crap. I know Seth will have something. Was it Seth or Seth? I can't even remember what his name was. I kind of like block. Oh, well, this guy has a knife. We'll take that. So it looks like they only have like the weapon they were using when they fought us, maybe? And by taking these guys out, we know if we need to run away, we won't get like ambushed from behind. Ooh, that's a very expensive gun and some ammo. That's a good, that's a good loot. What else we got? A knife. Anything else? A knife. Take that. Oh, if everyone dies on top of each other and I click this button, I can loot them all. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to different bodies and taking their knives. That's very cool, because I was like, well, what happens if everybody dies on the same tile? Do I just not get loot? I was literally going to, like, bait people around to kill them in different spots. Oh, wait, who's this guy? Sir, get out of here. He's just chilling in the corner. I guess he, uh, he didn't see me come in, I guess. Dinner's arrived. Really? It tells me dinner's arrived? Oh my god, how many butt stabs does this guy get? Can I attack, please? Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. 
uh, Ghoul Guard was hit for 54 points and was killed. Hell yeah, he was. I'm gonna kill this guy, too, with a groin shot. Take another one to the groin. Ah! Angry Gruel was hitting the groin for 17 points of damage. He's really upset that I hit his groin. Give him another one. Okay, now he's trying to... Why do they always try to run away? You can't get away with me, not with my new perk. I have, like, endless chase, basically. Okay, get in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, do a single shot. And this guy. Here we go. And reload. Yeah, like, I'm starting to get a little better with, like, what buttons to press. Like, we're getting there. Alright, I'll take your knife. And what did this guy have? Probably just a knife, right? A knife. Alright. And let's take a look in these dressers. Nothing. Nothing. And maybe a skill book? Uh, two alcohol. We'll take those. Alright, let's check this out. What is that? Lockpicks? Lockpicks? Um, a set of locksmanship's tools includes all the necessary picks and tension wrenches to open conventional pick and tumbler locks. So I think I can just keep these and use these when I'm out in the world and it like boosts my skill. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take these lockpicks. Give me this. Thank you. Hell yeah. It was way worth it to come in here. We just got lockpicks. Anything else? Okay, nothing. Alright, let's put our weapon away. So that's where we came in from, so we gotta check this bookshelf over here. Nothing. Uh, these wooden books are falling apart from the weather. Alright. So let's see. So the only way to get into his house, now that we've taken these guys out, is to kind of go around here to the front door, I think. So let's do that. I don't think I can loot these boxes, can I? It's hard to tell which crates you can loot and which ones you can't. Alright, so here's the guy who blocked us the first time. Let's see how he likes, uh, let's see how he likes our shotgun. Wait, why does he get two moves? Okay, he's aggroed that other one. Alright, no big deal. I think this is the last of them. They're in the uh, church. Let's try and hit him in the, his left arm. No, I missed that. Right arm. Ghoul guard was hitting the right arm for 21 hit points. I think he dropped his weapon. And finish him off with a groin shot. Hitting the groin for 34 points. That really hurts. Alright, get out of combat. Reload. Let's see what he's got. Spear. And a knife and a spear. Alright. It's time to take the fight to the leader. So they've got, like, these weird glowy ones in the, uh, in cages. Like, what? One, two, three. There's a lot up here. And then sets over here. Maybe now that I'm like in the building, I can talk to him real quick, but let's save. I feel like this is gonna go down. We'll call this what? Meeting with the big boss? Alright, let's try it. I'm keeping my shotgun out, I don't care.
There's actually quite a few people in here. There's like people down here too. There'd better be a killer reason for standing in my shadow. Does next on the menu ring a bell for you, Normie? God damn it, did this guy just call me Normie again? What is with this game and the word Normie? What it? Oh my god. It's like the worst, like the worst thing you can call someone is a Normie. Alright, what do we think of this guy? He kind of looks like a pushover. What do we got? He's got like a helmet on, one eyeball, and a shoulder pad. Am I supposed to be scared of this guy? Better be a killer reason for standing in my shadow. Does next on the menu ring a bell for you, Normie? Oh, killer it is, no doubt. Obviously, I found the head. Uh, man. Whoa, what happened to your face? Wow, you're pretty smart for a ghoul. Yeah, wow, what happened to your face? Oh, I'm gonna eat you up and be singing that happy tummy song. I got that happy tummy. What the fuck? I really hate this guy. <laughs> Wait, can you tell me about the Happy Tummy song? Thoughts not in my possession. The thoughts not in his possession. Happy Tummy song? Period? Beneath my thoughts. Beneath my thoughts? Okay, how do you feel about normies? Not in my thoughts. Zombies. Thoughts not in my possession. Ugly. Not in my thoughts. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, I fought my way through, like, where we came out of the sewers and, like, to the church, and this is the leader of the, like, military ghouls set. <laughs> he called me a normie, Royal. Like, I came in and talked to him, and he was like, what's a normie doing talking to me? You better have a damn good reason. And I was like, what is with this game and using normies? Like, that is an offensive term. Hmm. All right, well, he obviously doesn't want to talk. All right, he's doing the happy tummy song. Let's fill him full of lead. That's my happy tummy song. I'm not scared of you. Let me introduce you to my shotgun, a.k.a. your head. I probably aggroed the whole place, but I, I feel like we're ready for it. We're going to be tactical and take this whole place out. Okay, he just shot his own guy because he's an idiot. Yeah, I got to take him out. He has like a, gu a proper gun. Yeah, the last... <laughs> yeah, I was like, the last guy who called me a normie is now dead in the street with no head. So maybe we shouldn't... They shouldn't be using that term on me. Oh, come on. That's some bullshit. They're just, like, beating me up and stabbing me. Hurtful. Um, I don't think I can do anything but reload. Let's, uh, walk closer to him. Yeah, we gotta take him out, though. They have- the, these guys are what's dealing the damage, the guys with the guns. I'm not worried about the spear guys. So, inventory. Stim pack. Take another one. And one more. And then we'll equip our gun. Or repair our gun. All. And then what secondary weapon should I have? Um, my combat knife, maybe? I don't think I'll really use it. I'm going to equip one stim pack just in case I need to use it. Alright. And then I have all these action points, but I can't do anything, so I have to pass. God, I'm glad I uh, took out the guys out front. 
single shot. Hit him in the head. I'm just going to focus on him and the other guy with the gun. Once we take them out, I think we'll be fine. I don't know. The spear guys can't hit us, too. Puncher doesn't matter. They can't punch through my armor. I think we can do one more round. Hit him in the... Hit him in the head again. Shit, I have no idea how much health he has, either. Okay, Stimpak takes two. Alright. Okay, this guy keeps hitting his own people. Oh, shit. Aw, oh, that's bullshit. The darkness of the afterlife is all, all because he got a critical hit before I could heal. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this We're gonna get him. Alright, Lotus up. I saved. I figured this was gonna... I figured this was gonna go down. I know how this game works. Alright. Just gonna open fire. Get this guy. We're gonna have them come to us. I'm gonna take them out one at a time. Maybe this will make, uh, make a statement for him. So I'm assuming if I don't kill them, he can just let these things out, right? Whenever he wants. Got you down. Shooting all your zombies. Before they have a chance to aggro me. Seriously, I can't hit that guy. There we go. Alright, now open this door. Let's take these guys out before we fight them. Pass my turn. Hit this guy. Yeah, I think this will go much better if I just take everyone else out and then go for him at the end. If I stand in the doorway, there's no way that they can uh, get around me, so I can just keep firing forward, and I think we can get them all. Wait, are they phasing through this guy right now? It was like I was taking hits from someone that wasn't standing there. Alright, so hit this guy. And then let's run this way and kind of bait him out of the room. We'll just walk and run. Look at them all, Jesus. Run away! <laughs> Basically. Like, do they know that I'm in the Dark Brotherhood? Like, I don't play. Like, you don't think that I can figure out how to kill a thousand people by myself? I can figure it out. All I need is my shotgun, a bunch of stim packs, and a vendetta, and I'm good to go. Alright. Stim me. Stim me again. Stim me some more. And I'm actually going to equip some Druggas. A unique delivery system filled with strange and unknown chemicals and probably military origin. It is supposed to increase the combat potential of a soldier. I mean, I look the part, don't I? Give me this. Let's do this. Alright, keep running. And now once I get them over here, I'm going to start firing them once I take my Psycho. Gonna use the power of drugs. As one does in times like these. Alright, so I swap. And I use the drugs on myself. Alright, you see Psycho and you use it. You gain 3 agility, through, lose 3 intelligence, but you gain 50 damage resistance. Holy shit. Switch back. Reload my gun. Alright, bitches, let's see you try and hurt me now. Okay, this idiot just shot his own person. Alright. I love when they do that. They shoot their own people because they don't know how to aim. 
It's a very long history, right? Except in Fallout, you just seem to find all the drugs that are, like, left over from the military. Alright, let's just take a couple people out with single bursts. Uh, we'll go for the spear guys first. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. They're literally shooting their own people. They're making it all too easy for me. One, two, three, four. I need one more action point to get another hit. Um... Okay, maybe if I have another weapon, I can get, like, two attacks in at once. Let's switch to my combat knife. Okay, see, he just killed another one of his guys. I don't know what's going on. I just took some psycho, but they're the ones who are acting like psychos. Yeah, drugs are OP in this game, let's be honest. I have, like, 50 damage resistance right now. Alright, take that one out. Switch to my knife. And let's start swinging at these guys. There we go. Okay, that guy managed to hit me finally. I don't think they're getting us this time. I'm not gonna let it happen. Okay, swap. Shotgun. Take him out. Switch. And then get him with a knife. Alright, see, so they're taking out their own people. Because they, like, completely surrounded me. They're almost, like, making me have body armor. I'm not taking too bad of hits, either. Well, I'm gonna walk this way. Keep baiting them over this way where they can't see. Like he has to get close to me to aim now. Yeah, the movement perk, I'd say, is probably the best perk that I've ever gotten in this game. It's so good. Like being able to move, like after you shoot, and just bait these people around is amazing. You just shoot and you just keep moving. Okay, that guy can see me from there. I'm gonna head for the door, I think. And then focus on this guy with the gun. Okay, focus on that guy. Swap. Knife him. Yeah, they're literally taking my shots for me. Because all he had was numbers. Once he loses numbers, he can't do shit to me. Like, I will take your army away, and then I will fight you one-on-one, -on -one and you will lose. Okay, now he's trying to run away to the door, it looks like. I gotta get away from that guy. He's starting to hurt us. He just called me a punk? Well, I guess a punk's better than a normie. I don't know where that guy thinks he's going. Alright, get me over here. Alright, so now the other guy with the gun has to walk close to us. As long as we take care of the guys with guns, I don't think they can take us out. Alright, let's fire the one with the gun. Insta-kill. Uh, ghoul card was critically hit for 46 hit points. The damaging attack knocks him unconscious, also kills him. Hell yeah, alright, and then let's just walk out the building. Yeah, look how close this guy has to get to target us. Very good. So I just have to get used to, like, the tactics style of it, like the more chess style, where you're a moving piece, they're a moving piece, you're thinking about what you're doing, how much your action points are, what they're gonna follow up with if they get close to you, like, stuff like that. Once you figure that out, it's all good, though. Okay, this guy literally walked right in front of me. Shit, I have to reload. Take him out. I'm gonna have to heal after this, but I think I can kill him. Like, 
I'm hitting him for like eight damage with my knife, but he just doesn't care. There we go. Wait, that didn't kill him? Come on, stab this bitch. In the groin. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, I'm getting really low. Like, I feel like I'm gonna just die if I can't get this guy. Oh, this is set, guys. This is the boss. I didn't know this was the boss. Hang on. I was like, why is this guy not dying? Why does he have so much health? We were fighting the boss the whole time. Whoops. All right, let me take some drugs real quick, because drugs fix everything. One more. Perfect. All right, and reload my gun while I'm here. Because I learned how to do that. And done. Yeah, that's literally Set who we're fighting right now. That's why he's dealing damage. All right, shoot him to the dome. Okay, he's missing a lot, actually. Let's hit him in the eyes. Oh, yeah, fuck you, Set. Who's the fucking leader now? Set was critically hit in the eyes for 46 hits point. A serious wound is inflicted, and Set is killed. I'm the leader of the ghouls now. Alright, am I still aggroed, or am I out of combat? Uh, for destroying your enemies without taking a scratch, you earn 960 XP points. Fuck yeah. Suck it, Set. Don't call me a normie. This is what happens when you call me a normie. I don't appreciate it. Alright, let's see what he's got. Luckily, I sold all my shit, so I've got a full inventory, so we're looting everybody. Ah, uh, this awesome gun that sells for like two grand. A lighter. He's got a Zippo? Wait, you cannot pick that up. You're at maximum weight capacity. How am I at maximum weight capacity? I Is it the scorpion asses? I'll drop them right now. What is it? Oh, fuck. It's because I have all like these knives and shit. Oh my god, and these spears? Shit. Yeah, don't call me a normie, guys. It doesn't end well. Like, ever. What is this? Is this his lighter? You see a lighter. What is a lighter for? Does this let me see, like, in the dark? Can I take the lighter? Can I take the bullets? Can I take this gun? Here, I'll give him two spears. And I'll take his gun, because I know the gun sells for more. Give me, give me this. Okay. All good. So we're going to have to go and, like, sell stuff and come back, I think. Yeah, because, like, there's, like, spears, there's, like, guns and stuff. Like, we'll come back and finish these guys off, but we have to, like, sell stuff. Alright, inventory. I, like, I think we should kill... How much do these weigh? It weighs 20 pounds? How does one drop it? These things weigh 20 pounds? Uh, guys, how do you drop... Oh, they, there it is. Drop these. Why the fuck does a scorpion tail weigh 40 pounds? What? Okay, well now we're not over encumbered. Wait, what is this? Shotgun? Yes. Stim pack? Shotgun shells? I need those. And flamer fuel. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. And a spear, I'll take that. Okay. That's a big ass scorpion, is right. That's the biggest ass I've ever seen. Does anyone have anything to say about me killing your leader? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're just gonna run away? Where are you going? I, I want to ask you a couple questions. You guys aren't gonna keep harassing my friends down in the sewer, are you? I got zero tolerance for haters. I'm, oh my god, who the fuck is this guy? You were critically hit for four points, bypassing my armor, knocked to the... F okay, you know what? Good luck living without a groin. Yeah, how about that? Critically hit in the groin for 20 points. Ouch, that had to hurt. And he runs away. As one does when they're shot in the groin. Get out of here. Cleaning this place up of crime. Because now, like, the pacifists can, like, use this building for, like, you know, to foster human ghoul relationships where they're not trying to eat people. Instead of just killing them all the time because you call them a normie. Alright, can I shoot this guy? He's just standing there. Why are you just standing there? Okay. Get out of here. Alright, I think I'm out of combat now, right? You cannot exit combat, people are nearby. Alright. I'm just gonna clear this place out so we can loot it. A 
Why is this guy still running away? Where does he think he's gonna go? The door is locked. You cannot get away from me. Like, I will literally stand in the doorway so you have nowhere to go. Yeah, I'm gonna stand right here. Where are you gonna go? Okay. Blow him away. In the groin. Oh, I knocked him to the. F Ooh, I knocked him to his feet too. So now I get a bonus move. Is he still over here? Oh no, that got him. All right. I went to mow the lawn, and I'm coming back to mass murder of an entire building. Um. So remember the ghouls that were like the military faction? Well, I fixed the water pump for the good ghouls, and then I said, you know what? I think I should kill the military faction of ghouls. And then they called me a normie. So once he called me a normie, I killed a thousand of his people and took him out. So Set is dead. There is no leader anymore. I'm just cleaning out the building right now. He called me a normie. I don't appreciate it. It's like the worst thing you can call me. So the shotgun is coming in clutch right now. We're just finishing off a few stragglers. I don't want them causing trouble for my friends down in the sewer. All right, for crushing my enemies, we got 270 XP. All right, take these guys out, and we'll be good to go. Okay, he's down. Take this guy out. I just want my ghoul friends to be able to live in freedom and not worry about, like, these guys forcing them to, like, fight against humans. And maybe they'll, like, make the town better and we can actually trade with it later. But the only way that's going to happen is if we get rid of these aggressive ghouls. Alright, get me in this building. Oh, we also found some lockpicks, um, Ducky. Uh, I was looking through some bookshelves and we found, like, actual lockpicks. So I think I might be able to get into that vault back at the hub. Oh, also, I did take some Psycho. Psycho is heavenly. I'm gonna need to get some more of that. You get, like, 50 damage resistance in this game when you do Psycho. In Fallout 3, Psycho is, like, plus 50% damage or something like that. But it's still really good. Made my agility go way up, which helps my gun damage and all kinds of stuff. Plus 50 damage resistance is insane. It's, like, double what my armor is. I think we'll get a level out of this, honestly. That'll be like the cherry on top, so we'll get like a perk. This is what happens. When you ask me to do math, this is what happens when you call me a normie. This is what happens when you're an asshole. I have no tolerance for any of those things. I will shotgun everyone until I make the world a better place. One less murder zombie at a time. Like, I watch The Walking Dead. I know what to do with zombies like this. And then they just yell shit at me, like, Adam Fire, I'm gonna eat you, you'll make a fine stew. Like, they gotta kinda work on their comebacks a little bit. I don't think they know who I am, honestly. Oh, there's like one guy here. Oh, this is the guy who's running with his knife. So I think we found out I can disarm them if I shoot them in their dominant arm. So like, the right arm ten tends to be the right arm. Okay, that just killed him. That was a critical hit. Ghoul Guard was critically hit in the right arm uh, for 30 hit points, sneaking through his armor and striking a critical joint. Alright, we're doing good now. Oh, I have to reload. I'm so glad I bought shotgun ammo. I don't even know if I like the uh, Children of Adam. 
Like, that was the teacher lady we saw at the hospital that was like, are you trying to insult my my people? Uh, uh, if you insult me one more time, I'm gonna get you killed. And then she just attacked me for no reason. So, like, if I go to the boneyard, I might throw some shade at it. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the Children of Adam so far. They're not that nice, I'll say that. Supposedly they run a hospital, but I don't think they do. I think that's like a front for something. Who's this guy? Oh, is he in jail? Yeah, they got another one in jail over here. Okay, I think I got him. Alright, we've got like one more guy to do, and we got everything. Yeah, Chris, what do you think? You think this is good? I got I got some people up here. I took a, I took set down here. We got bodies. I shot some people up here. There's like one guy over there. I just I don't want any of the military faction to like survive to like you know to like harass the other people. Uh, you cannot get there. Can I open the door? Uh, you don't have enough action points. Can I end combat and get through the door? There we go. Guess what? This area belongs to me now. Vault 13. No, I'm not mean like that. I just, honestly, like, if the pacifists didn't tell me that these guys were, like, giving them a hard time, I probably would have just left them, but they called me a normie. They harassed the people that I actually like, so we need to get rid of them. It's, like, a good idea to test out our shotgun. And if I can find the gun runners, that's where I really want to be. That's where, like, some serious firepower, I'm sure we'll find, like, some of the best guns. I kind of want that sniper rifle, though. That'll probably be the next thing I buy. Alright, I think we got everybody. We've got, like, one guy up here, I think. And then we can just loot and see if we got anything, now that I've dropped the uh, spider asses. I'm the Vault Dweller, I don't give a shit. Normie is my trigger word. Okay, this guy's just running away. He doesn't even want to fight me. Why do they always go to the doorway where I can't hit them? Yeah, look, I can't hit them until I get, like, right on him. Alright. We have successfully did it, guys. Lower load. Switch our thing off. And we are good to go. In combat. Alright. I think we got a lot of XP from that, actually. Yeah, we only need, like, 2,000, uh, 2,000 some change to get another level, and then we'll, I think we'll get another perk. Alright, so let's just loot these guys. Definitely useless junk, no doubt about it. Can I pick it up? If someone paid you a lot of caps and you could use steel britches, you might consider sitting in this chair. Alright, I'm just going to take everything I can. What is this? Is this a Molotov cocktail? What is that? That's a weird looking Nuka-Cola. A beer. Alright. Ooh, two stim packs. Wait, is that the thing? Backpack? What is a backpack? And a tool. I have two tools and a backpack. What does a backpack do? Does this give me more carry weight? I hope it gives me more carry weight. What does this do? A basic backpack with optional carrying straps. It weighs five pounds, but what does it do? Do I equip it? Can I use it? You see a dresser. I don't know what's going on. I'm guessing I'm just wearing it? The game doesn't really tell you what it does. Use. That does nothing. Okay. I don't know what you do, backpack, but I will carry you and hope that you're keeping my uh, inventory up. 
There's something over here, like the cooler or something. An ice chest. Okay, we've got a bunch of bullets and three grenades. Not bad. I gotta start leveling up my throw skill. Alright, what else we got? This looks like an old coffee table. Rusty old bed. Nothing over here. Nothing in the corner. Alright, let's start looting these guys. I think we did pretty good. I don't know why they were keeping the cage glowing ones in there. Can I lockpick them out? You cannot get in there. No, it's just like something you're... I guess you can't open that. They're just there to like look at you, I guess. Okay, so I'm at max carrying capacity. I don't want to, like, leave and, like, the bodies despawn, but we're going to have to do that, aren't we? Because I can't carry anything else. Yeah, I can't carry anything else. Alright. So we looted the boss, at least. We got his lighter. So let's get out of here. And there's this, uh, where we dropped the scorpion asses. And let's head back to the hub. Sell all this stuff and come back and finish looting. And we'll be good to go. Who the shit is this? A group of hostile raiders burst forth. From where? They look like tunnel snakes. Alright. I know how to deal with you guys. That's right. Groin shots. Okay, they're still shooting their own people. I don't know what's going on. Uh, give me a... Give me a groin shot. How did I miss? How do you miss when there's like 92%? That's so fucked up. guy left with a, a gun. Let's try and shoot it shoot it out of his hand. So if I only get like a bonus effect for using bats if I get like a critical hit, is that what it is? Because I do want to like shoot weapons and stuff out of his hand. Oh shit, I only have fuck, I only have like four HP. I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No 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 Holy fuck, if I would have died, I would have had to do that whole zombie shit over again. Ooh, thank you, game, for being merciful. God, I was not paying attention to that. Okay, yeah, give me some health, please. Oh my god. I was way too close. I gotta save after this. I just hit him in the head. Or not, just miss at 90%, why not? There we go. I don't know if I can catch up to that guy, honestly. He's really booking it. I'm gonna try, though. What do you mean retreat? You guys attack me. Yeah, he just left. Alright, well he's gonna go tell his friends that I kick their asses, I guess. Alright, exit combat. 240 XP. Okay, can I take that? No, my inventory's still full. God damn it. Well, guns tend to sell for more than, um... Like, melee weapons, right? Yeah, definitely this gun. Alright, let's drop off, like, our knives. Because they're not that great. And then we'll take all the guns. Because that just seems like good business sense. Mm 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. All right. Um, have a... What do I want to get? Have a spear. How about that? I'll give you one spear and you give me a pistol. There you go. Welcome back, Candy. Uh, we basically took out the rebel uh, ghoul faction. And now I'm just heading back to town to sell everything before we go back to finish looting. And I got attacked by some random, like, uh, tunnel snakes. But we took them out. Alright, can I go back to the hub now, please? God, it's like the roads are not patrolled at all. Look at these. The rad scorpions rule the, uh, they rule the roads. I cannot believe that their asses cost 20. That's just absurd. Like, what? I wonder if they sell for a lot of money. They'd have to sell for an awful lot for me to even consider picking them up. Like, 20 carrying weight? Like, that's almost like what a minigun weighs. Alright, fuck off, scorpions. Alright, let's get out of here. Take me to the hub. I want to go to Old Town. Okay, it's dark. It's nighttime. I don't even know if Jacob will trade with me, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna buy that sniper rifle, I think. It just seems really good. I mean, I don't know how good it's gonna be without sneak attacks, but I still wanna try. Uh, hey, how's it going, friend? Are you looking to buy something? Yes, I am. Alright, so at least he's willing to, like, after hours uh, trade with me. Is that the shotgun? That's the assault rifle. That's the sniper rifle. How much damage does it have? It has 6 of 6 shots of 223. Okay, it's 1400 for 1. That's not too bad. I don't know if I need... I definitely don't need two tools, so you can have one. All right, let's just sell all of our stuff that we got. Sell these alcohols. How much does the lighter sell for? Like a hundred bucks? I think I'd rather keep it. Take another shotgun? Take a basic shotgun? How much is flamer fuel? Pretty good. Some beers. Does anyone uh, who can Google or know about this game, does anyone know what the backpack does? Is it worth it for me to carry it, or should I sell it, or what do you do with this backpack? The game, like, does zero in explaining it. Ah, uh, sure thing. I'll just keep selling stuff. Um, what's this stuff? 5mm JHP. I don't need these. Right. That's four thousand dollars. Holy shit! How much money do you have, dude? So what does this take? This takes two twenty-three. So that's this. A case of ammunition, two twenty-three caliber. Oh yeah, this is the one I want. Give me all this. All right, so now he only owes me like a grand. Yeah, give me a grand. And then give me five, six, seven, 300. Give me six, seven, $21. Okay. Okay, that's a good trade. So he still has 1,600. Now we have a sniper rifle. Let's get rid of these pistols. 
keeping the grenades. Oh, sell the spears for sure. Spears are heavy. I don't even know. We don't need the combat knife anymore. I'm going to be honest. We're going in for guns. I'm gonna keep the lighter. Keeping the lockpick. Keeping the psycho. Mentats. Tool. Rope. That all looks good. Give me another 884. Offer. All right. I think that's good. Oh yeah, we're good. All right. Uh, a backpack can contain any item that totals less than 40 pounds. It's just used to organize your inventory. All right. Uh, so you could put all your ammo in it or something. Eh, I don't think that's worth it. Let's get rid of it because it weighs like five pounds. I'll take another hundred for it. All right. I think we're good. When I'm smoking my celebratory cigarette later today, I'll use the lighter that I stole from set. <laughs> we had 5,200 caps, 30 stems, two ropes, two super stems, 300 shotgun shells, two flares, a psycho, a Geiger counter, seven rat away, an antidote, 900 sniper rifle shots, three grenades, a lock pick, a lighter, and a sniper rifle. I feel pretty powerful right about now. All right, so let's do this, and then let's put our sniper rifle on. All right, that is 14 to 34 with a range of 50. That has like a range of like 24, so it's got a much higher range. And let's reload it. And let's reload our shotgun. All right, nice. All right, so let's just go head back and get the rest of that loot. Cannot wait to test out my sniper rifle. It's definitely nighttime in game. It's kind of spooky, actually. I don't think I want to be in the slums after dark. That won't be good. <laughs> We have so many jobs that we need to do, too. I wonder if I go to the hotel and I talk to him and I'm like, Hey, I killed Set, if he cares. I'm kind of tempted to talk to him now. He's like, hey, you remember Set? Remember that guy that was, like, in charge and thought he was big shit and called everyone normies? He's dead now. You encounter a group of guardsmen on patrol. Guardsmen for what? Can I, like, take these guys out? 85, 85. Who are they guardsmen for? And why did they attack me first? Or, like, why did I have an encounter with them? Like, if I've learned anything from Junktown, which we're also going back to Junktown, um... Sometimes the guards just, like, aggro for no reason. It's not good. Uh, headshot. Yeah, the sniper rifle seems really good. Uh, groin. Okay, that was a good groin shot. Uh, she's clearly hitting the groin for 68 points. Her childbearing days are in trouble as she collapses into a leap, a, lump, a limp heap. Oh, Lord have mercy. Why did you guys attack me? I was just walking to the, uh... I was just walking to the other zone and you guys are, like, here trying to cause shit with me. What's going on? What the hell? What the shit? I'm taking your stuff, though. I am not tolerating that. Yeah, we're going back to Junk Town. Like, I'm not about to uh, forget what they did to us for taking out the gang, basically. There we go. I think there's like one other guy left. Yeah, he's over here. Look at this guy. 
I think he's just gonna run away. Yeah, like he's just trying to run away. I have a negative 3% chance to hit him because it's nighttime. Yeah, maybe this wasn't a good idea, you think? Why the hell did you fuck with me? I am not to be trifled with, man. Volt 13. We take care of our own problems. Alright, can I get to the hub, please? No, I don't want to go... Wait, no, Necropolis. Necropolis. I meant Necropolis. I just want to get the rest of the loot from uh, the bad guys. Alright, take me to the hall. Aw, did all the bodies despawn? I think they did. God damn it. Yeah, unfortunately it looks like all the bodies despawn when you leave. Alright, so all we have to do is just check for, like, um, stuff in containers, stuff like that. I got as much of it as I could. And then we can move on to uh, the next part we want to go to. The fridge is locked. Can I use my lockpicks? Use it on the fridge. You haven't quite gotten the lock yet. You unlock the fridge. You gain 25 experience. Alright, well that was nice. What's in this fridge? Ooh, a shotgun. 40 bullets, which we need that. Four Nuka Colas and four flares. Damn. This is like the wonder fridge. Alright. Nothing in there. That's just a table. Let's see if this will open up. Here, let's switch. If I switch my weapon, it'll stop like. I think it's faster to loot this way. Ooh, what is that? More lockpicks. More bullets. And guns and bullets. Ooh, so we got a skill book. You cannot pick that up. You are at your maximum weight capacity. How am I at my maximum weight capacity already? I'm doing so well. Like, I barely have anything in my inventory, except, like, too many bullets. Is it all bullets? It's probably bullets, isn't it? I have too much shit. I have way too much shit. I don't know what to do. All right. Two of these. Let's just put these in here. Can I take the book? No. Put the shotgun in here. Can I take the book? Okay. Then we read the book. Because it's a skill book, then we can pick everything up. A gun rag. A magazine devoted to the practical use of firearms and the occasional biased review. It weighs two pounds. Can we read it? You learned... Uh, you read the book, but you learned nothing new. Well, that was a waste. At least let me sell it, game. If it's not going to do anything. that stuff. Let's keep looking around. What is this? 14 millimeter armor piercing. Take that. You cannot pick that up. You're at maximum capacity. What the shit? This sucks. I've got too much, uh, too much stuff. I guess bullets have weights or something. I bought too many bullets. All right. Well, I can't pick anything up. Let's get out of here. think there was anything over here. Now we already went through it. All right. Well, that takes care of the bad feral ghouls. Yeah, I guess it's full. Like if I look at my inventory, it's uh it's full. Every time I try to pick something up. Let's see, inventory. Uh total weight is 175. And I don't know what my maximum weight is. I guess, do bullets weigh, uh, do they have weight in this game, Chris? I think they do. It does, it weighs one pound. Okay, so what's happening is I'm buying bullets, like in the modern Fallout, where they don't weigh anything, or it's very little. And in this game, bullets weigh, like, a lot. Alright, so we're gonna have to, like, shoot some of these bullets to get them out of my inventory. We're gonna have to go on, like, a killing spree.
All right, you know who I want to try my new uh, sniper rifle on? So here, if Vault 15 is here, it's either here or here. Let's go see if we can find that con camp. We've got to shoot some of these bullets anyways. I bought a thousand sniper rifle bullets not knowing I was going to have no carry weight. Yeah, sniper rifle seems really good. Out of ammo? I'll tell you what, I don't feel as scared of the uh, super mutants, I'll tell you that. I feel like even if I run into like a group of them, I could at least like take a couple down or something. I guess before they were just like kicking our ass. Uh, let's hit this one in the groin. Yeah, the groin shot's where it's at. There we go. And I'll save once we get to... Uh... Wait, what is that? It's like a mark over there? That's where I'm at, right? Desert. I want to go, like, here. I think they're over here, aren't they? Desert. For defeating your enemies, you earn... Why do I want to go to a desert? I don't think I want to do that, because don't I need, like, water or something to get through the desert, or you, like, just die halfway through? I'm looking for that camp that I ran into the first time. I can't remember where it was. Unless it moves. Is it random? Oh, no, wait. What is this? Unknown. You see a small building with a series of tents nearby. The inhabitants look dirty and mean. Alright, so this is the Great Khan camp. So these are like raider guys. So let's definitely save. See what we can do against these guys. We're gonna call this uh, Remember Me. Coming back for some wasteland justice. So I'm going to try to talk my way in, and then if that doesn't work, you know how it's going to go down. Uh, right now my karma is at 19, so I have 19 good karma, and I am a champion of the people. So I might be like too much of a goody two-shoes to like talk my way through here, but I'm going to try. Uh, let me put my weapon away. There we go. Hello, sir. I hear this is where the great cons are. I want to talk to your boss real quick. You see a tough desert raider, you see nothing out of the ordinary. What do you want? Nothing, just looking around. Then do it elsewhere. Can you tell me about your boss? Never heard of it. Great cons. That's us, you lackey. Um, con? Never heard of it. Um, leader. Sorry, no clue. Uh, boss? Hmm. In charge. Okay, this guy has no idea. Alright. <laughs> Try butt. Do you think butt will work? Ask him about butt. Alright, I'll ask him about butt. No, actually I can't. Because last time I talked about butt to the leader, he's like, we don't like those kind of people. And then he just attacked me. So this might be like his melon from Facade. This is his trigger word. Do you know anything about butts? Butt? Ass? But dunk a dunk Sorry, no clue. He has no idea what a butt is. Alright, alright. A likely story. Alright, is this the leader? I 
I got this lady in my way. Get out of my way, lady. Get out of my room. There we go. What do you want? Uh, you see before you Garl, leader of the raiders. Can you tell me about yourself? I am the leader of the Khans. I am the most feared man in the wasteland. You's a bitch. I don't know anything about that. Alright. Is that literally all he's going to tell me is he's the leader? Khans. That's us. Okay. Drugs? I don't know anything about that. Larceny? I don't think I spelled that right. Um, theft? Police. Sorry, no clue. Justice? I don't know anything about that. Alright. Uh, I'm an explorer. I want to join. I feel like if I tell him I'm an explorer, he's just gonna attack me, isn't he? I want to join. You want to join us? Whatever for. Kick some serious ass. I like you guys. I want to bond with you. So I hit that last time, and he's like, we don't like those kind of people in our group. So I'm gonna say I, I want to kick some ass. The raiders only accept the meanest and toughest sons of bitches around. You have to be bloodthirsty, violent, to the extreme. I don't think you can handle that, can you? Oh sure, I can handle that. Have you heard about the massacre of Necropolis? Or when I killed a thousand rats? Or what else did I do? When I killed Larry the super mutant? That was all me, man. I grow tired of these women. Kill them. What? No. How did I know this idiot was going to tell me to kill the women? Didn't I say this yesterday, Royal? I said, we're going to pretend to join this guy. And then he's going to be like, oh yeah, you want to join the Legion of Doom? Well, kill these innocent bystanders to prove it. I knew he was going to do that. Hmm. You know what? Fuck all of you. No. You have proved my point. Only the raiders possess the will to survive. You do not. Kill him. What a bitch. Alright, I'm ready for you now. Say hello to my sniper rifle, and you no longer get to have a groin. If I could ever hit my fucking shots. Like, what did the girls do to him that he just wants to kill them? Like, what the fuck? Shoot him in the groin. Thank you. This man does not deserve to have a groin. Cons are like way less of assholes in uh, Fallout New Vegas. These guys are just complete dicks. And I can't believe I keep missing. Alright, we're gonna have to switch off the uh, vats. They're starting to swarm us. Alright, as is usual fashion, go to our inventory. I'm gonna take some drugs. Okay. And I am going to take our last dose of Psycho, because we need to kill these Psychos, so we're going to take some Psycho. Where is it? Psycho. You lost 3 intelligence, you gained 50 damage resistance. Let's do this. Oh, should I go in with a sh shit? I should have equipped my shotgun. God damn it. Um, now I have to pass. God damn it. I completely forgot to do that. So if I kind of walk over here, they'll hit uh, other people, like, in front of me. Yeah, see how they're, like, hitting her? Um, so they're too close to me, so I can't even hit them with the... the uh, let's get the shotgun. Shoddy. Switch to the shoddy. Alright, shoot this guy. You're critically hit for two points. I don't give a shit. I got Psycho flowing through me. It's time to take these fools out. The power of drugs will not let me... I will avenge... I will avenge the people. All the people that were harassed by the cons. Not to mention he called me those kind of people. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to call me a normie. I'm gonna kill him, and then I'm gonna focus on the girl with the gun next to me on my right. But it looks like he's the leader, so he has, like, the most HP. So maybe I shouldn't be killing him first. I should be killing, like, his lackeys or something. 
but they're taking shots on either side by, like, basically being in front of me, so it's not too bad. Alright, she's about to die. I think I can finish her off. Yeah, you're dead, bitch. Reload. They thought that I didn't remember what they did to me last time. Well, look at look at how that worked out for them. The Lannisters always pay a debt. Well, I always remember my grudges. Oh shit, I took a lot of damage. Shit. Who the hell is hitting me for so much? I took Psycho. I should be a god right now. Yeah, suck on that. Great cons my ass. More like great bitches. Telling me to kill fucking women that you have as slaves. I am not putting up with these guys. No time for diplomacy. Because there's like this really fucked up place in Fallout 3 where they have like slaves. And I have a zero tolerance for slavery in like any form. So I'm like, as soon as he's like, I have slaves, you can kill them, they don't mean anything. I knew these guys had to die. Alright, we'll focus on you. And then we'll focus on the guys in the doorway. It's got really good range, this uh, shotgun. I like it a lot. And I think I can get this guy. Alright, looks like the women are safe. The women are just running. It looks like they're going to be able to get out. I'll keep them distracted by shooting them. Is that why- okay, so... Is it because- is this a different faction? Or are these the same cons from New Vegas? Because in New Vegas, the NCR is like constantly attacking the cons and like, yeah, they sell drugs and do some stuff. But they don't have slaves. They live like nomadically. They live in tents. I mean, they're kind of like raiders, but they're not as bad as they seem in this game. This game, they just seem like they're complete assholes. Like, they have no redeeming quality at all. Alright, looks like if I can get rid of these two guys, the girls can escape. Okay, they're running this way. Yeah, how'd you like me blowing your arm off? Ryder was critically hit for 60 hit points, knocking the air out. He slumps to the ground out of the fight. Hell yeah, he does. Alright, they're almost free. I wonder if they'll thank me if I, like, free them from here. Maybe I can get them to come to the vault? We definitely need more people in the vault. I'm sick of looking at the same three people all the time. Ooh, critical hit, yes. Alright, don't let him go after the women. Keep attacking him. I think the most, like, hated group in, like, the Fallout universe, it's gotta be, like, Caesar's Legion. Like, Caesar's Legion is, like, so unredeemable in Fallout New Vegas. Like, as soon as I see their stupid asses, I always shoot them. There's, like, no point talking to them. They're just terrible. It's, like, terrible people. Okay, it looks like he might be going for her, so I'm gonna distract him. Or try to, I should say. And I was reading somewhere that there's, like, mercenaries or friends we can hire to, like, travel with us in the wasteland, but I'm, like, lone survivor right now. I don't think she can get away. Yeah, I've got way too much range on her. Like, this is another area, like, I want to loot, but we just don't have enough space. So it's more of just, like, using bullets and uh, saving, saving everybody. There we go. Alright, I think that's everybody. Right? Alright, there's one guy. There's a couple people over there. I just want to make sure these guys get out. 
Uh, for crushing your enemies, you gain 900 XP points. You gain 200 experience points for the rescue of the slave, and you gain another 200 experience points for the rescue of the other slave. So we just got 400 experience for saving these women from slavery. Hell yeah. What's up, girls? You ever been to a vault before? We're looking for new members. We have a water chip. The Overseer's kind of an asshole, to be honest, but I kind of have sway over him because he, like, owes me the whole life of the vault so I could get you guys hooked up. It's got to be better than living in these shitty tents. Can I talk to them? Thank you for saving me. Uh, you're welcome. Let's talk to this one. You see a bruised and battered woman. Thank you for saving me. All right. Let's just see what uh, the boss had, honestly. That's the only one's loot that I really want to check on. This guy over here. Yeah, you told me to kill them, and instead I killed you. How'd that work out for you, buddy? He's got metal armor, a gun, and ammo. Magnum ammo. And booze. I don't really need any of that shit. I don't know why I expected anything else from him. He's got an ice chest. He's got nothing in it, though. He's got Molotov cocktails? We're taking these. I cannot pick that up. You're at max. God damn it. Alright, if I put my tool over here... And I somehow I have two radios. And a radio? Can I pick this up? There we go. Now we have Molotov cocktails and grenades. I'm going to level up my throw skill when I level up. So we can actually start using some of this uh, stuff. Holy shit. Stimpak, buff out, mentats, caps. I think I was loaded. More Stimpaks, hell yes. Another Molotov, yes. Caps. I know these guys are all going to despawn, so I'm going to take as much as I can. So they definitely all have drugs on them, so they're definitely still drug dealers in this game. Let's, I'll take the caps. What is that? Magnum FMJ. I guess throwing knives? That'll work with us leveling up our throwing skill. Nothing in this town. I mean, honestly, not the worst loot ever. If I had more carry weight, we would really be uh, outfitted right now. Shit, I can't pick up any more throwing knives. God damn it. This sucks. I think I can go back to the vault and use that locker to, like, store all my ammo so, like, I'm not super over-encumbered. And then we'll be able to, like, loot stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll trade four Nuka-Colas if I can carry more knives, though. No, still not enough. Take this Magnum. There we go. Doesn't look like they have anything in their tents. Okay, this is just like a sitting area with uh, more ammo. I think there's one other tent with like people in it over here. Unless you want trouble, you better put that away. How about you back the fuck up? Oh, that buddy. You know what I do to people like you? I shoot them in the groin. I learned that the hard way. Ooh, another Molotov. Oh, six, oh, six throwing knives. Oh, I want it so bad. 
Alright, what can I get rid of to get more throwing knives? How much do flares weigh? Mentats, the Geiger counter. I don't know what the radio does. Alright, here. I'll put the I'll put the shotgun over here and I'll take the knives. There we go. Hey, Bog. Thanks so much for the follow. Happy to have you. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I'm just uh, getting all these knives that I can pick up so we can start learning how to throw them for, like, insta-kills. Alright, so I think there's just... There's this one guy by the outhouse. And then we did save the girls, so we did get experience for saving the slaves, so... It's a good day in my book. Uh, is she gonna try and run away? I'm not gonna let her. Not today, lady. Because if she makes it to the end of the zone, I don't think I can stop her. I gotta get her now. There we go. No cons left alive. And there's one other person here. Let's end combat? Cannot end combat with an enemy nearby. Where is he? Uh, you have gone up a level for crushing your enemies. You earn 110 experience points. Alright. I hope they have that perk that's like, isn't it like Pack Mule or something? Where you, it's like for the loot hoarder. Where you could, uh, you carry more like, uh, inventory and stuff. It was like Pack Mule or Caravan or something. Ooh, I'm taking your stim pack. I'm taking all your caps. I'm taking your throwing knives. I can't pick up any more throwing knives. God damn it. Alright, let's put this ammo back and pick up the throwing knives. There we go. Oh, look at them all. For having so many throwing knives, they really didn't use them on me, did they? Um, I'm still over encumbered. Damn. How much does rope weigh? Okay, how about... I'll give him... 50 ammo? Or here. My, here. Cancel. This. One. And then... Is that enough for that? It is. No, it's not. Okay, how about another one? Let's give it two. Okay, that's better. Uh, uh, so I stream full-time, so I usually stream my normal schedules Monday through Friday, about 11, 12 Eastern start time. Um, we tend to do a lot of like RPG game, action games, uh, I like card games. Um, but we play all kinds of stuff. I do. I focus on like a lot of older games uh, more so than some of the new stuff. But you'll see us bounce around. We were playing a lot of fantasy stuff before, so now I'm playing Fallout, which is more like shootery. Uh, but we finished the Elder Scrolls Oblivion Game of the Year edition. We just did Ark the Lad, um, Super Mario uh, RPG stuff like that. Um, if you want to see any of the stuff that I played before for the channel, I always like back it up and order it on my YouTube channel. So I have my Twitter and my YouTube linked right underneath the follow button. And uh, just go to playlist and you can see all the stuff we played. But we like to have fun here. We play all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oblivion was super fun. But I'm a definitely I'm a super big uh, RPG fan. RPGs are very, very much my style. Hey, yeah, we like yeah we like to talk about food. We don't like math. We don't like being called a normie. But uh, we took care of that guy. He won't be doing that again. Um, but more recently, so this was a great con camp. So this was a raider camp, and we took them all out and saved uh, saved the slaves that were here. So I'm just getting the rest of the loot before we leave. I think I just have one person left. Not anymore. Alright, let's loot these guys. Caps and... Basically buff out is really good. It gives you like a lot of HP, so... I will take their, uh, their drugs if they have any. Okay. 
this door is locked. All right. Yeah, have you ever played this game? Like, the first one I ever played was uh, Fallout 3. And so I'm playing some of the older games to, like, see what started it all. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's really good. Let's do our lock pick. And let's pick this. You were not able to pick the lock. Try again. Not able. Keep trying. Okay, how about this? We level up lock picking and throw and then see if we can pick the door. We are level eight. All right. So let's do lock pick. Let's get this up to like, like 40 and then throw. Get that up to like 53. Scale of muscle propelled ranged weapons, throwing knives, spears, and grenades. Yep, we want all of that. Level us up, and let's try it again with our better lock picking. You unlock the door. Hey, that worked. Uh, so I did, uh, Chris. It's like, uh, it's gone through and it's working and everything, but I just have to wait a little bit um, before I split the switch because I have some stuff that I'm having worked on in the background, like art, emojis, um, you know, different stuff like that, like emotes and different stuff, but once that's all done, I'll probably flip it, and then I'll, uh, we'll go live, and I'll have some other stuff for you guys. But it'll be happening soon. It might be as early as, like, the next couple weeks, um, and if not, it would be within the next few weeks after that, but it'll almost be, uh, well, almost there. So it'll be awesome. Oh, you start, oh, you finished in Junktown? Yeah, Junktown is kind of, uh, Junktown's pretty, uh, nasty. I haven't heard anything about Fallout 2, actually. But uh, if it's more, uh, a little less casual than this one, it might be a little easier to uh, get into. This one has, like, a steep learning curve, but, like, once you figure it out, it's pretty good. Alright, so I picked this door. I don't think there's anything in here. This bed has seen a lot of use in wear. Alright, yeah, nothing in this room. Let's pick this door. You've unlocked the door. Yeah, basically, because uh, all I, I just didn't want to play like an Elder Scrolls game, like right after an Elder Scrolls game. Like I wanted to kind of give myself a break. But once we play like one or two games, or and then we jump back to the fantasy uh, side of it, we're definitely going to be playing Morrowind. Morrowind and Skyrim are both uh, on the agenda. Like I've never finished Skyrim and I've never played Morrowind, so I want to add both of those to my lists. And I already have my race and backstory for the Skyrim playthrough. I just have to figure out who I want to play for Morrowind. Yeah, pretty much. So I'll either do, like, we'll have two games and, like, certain days of the week will be one or the other. Or we'll just switch. Uh, we'll do one playthrough and then another one. Uh, it'll just depend once we uh, decide to do it. But I'm actually really enjoying Fallout. Alright, I think we got them all out. We can leave now. Let's get to a town and save. Sell all this stuff. I'm actually going to head to the vault and drop off some of my extra stuff so we can actually have carry weight. Oh, I'm glad. Like, I'm so glad. Like, it sounds like Morwen is going to be hard, but it might be, like, a little bit more easier than this game. So I feel like if I can finish this game, I can do Morwen. Oh, Dark Cloud 2 is amazing. Oh, my God. Do you know who has Dark Cloud Royal? I would play that in a minute. The Dark Cloud series is my favorite game. Uh, there's that little redhead girl with the sword and then the engineer guy with the overalls. And you have to, like, fix the past to, like, fix the future. I love Dark Cloud. Oh, my God. I would love to play that. Oh, my God. Well, do you know what I'm going to do, Bog? You can't give me that kind of option. And I'm just going to have max charisma, max sex appeal max dance moves and I'm just gonna make all my money on the pole or whatever I can do I will work at the casino I've done it in Fallout New Vegas I love working in the casino I'll just go up into Gamora and I'm just like I'm one of the dancers now everyone give me your money <laughs> uh, living quarters entrance or command center I think it's in the entrance um yeah, here it is. There's this locker here, and I think this is, like, my locker. Like, nobody goes into it. 
Okay, so open this up. And then let's drop off like 10 of these. And then 10 of the sniper rifle. Actually, let's do like 20 of, or 12 of the sniper rifle. Yeah, that seems way more manageable. So now whenever we need more bullets, we have like a safe zone. I'm going to drop off two rad X's. Actually, let's drop off four. I'll just care. Well, let's drop off another one. So I have two of those, two of those. Antidote. I'm just going to, well, I'll keep the antidote. I know as soon as I put it in here, I'm going to need it. And then we found two lockpicks. I thought, unless I didn't pick it up. Flares we'll keep, radio, Geiger counter we'll keep, grenades, that stuff we're gonna sell, we'll keep the knives. That looks much better. That should help us being able to like pick stuff up. Ooh, Sadeki. I don't know if I've heard that one before, is it kind of like, like Ninja Gaiden a little bit? Uh, it's not a JRPG, it's an action RPG. Okay, what's like the art style? Is it like, uh, does it look more like anime or is it more like comic style? Okay, so what's our carry weight at? Now we're at 139, that seems better. It'll be better once I sell stuff at the hub. Oh, nice. I forget, like, uh, so I don't know if you guys know this, because I was asking people uh, yesterday, uh, if anyone remembers, but it is a anime from the 80s, so back in the style of, like, Yu Yu Hakusho and, you know, kind of like that dark, gritty graphical style, like Samurai Kenshin, like the guy with the scar on his cheek. So what it is, is it's a guy, and his family uh, is part of a clan that their whole job is to protect the world from this demon. And it's him and his grandpa, and they're like swordsmiths. And he's like, hey, you know you have to protect this rock. It's our sacred duty to protect this shrine to make sure the demon can't escape. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. You're cramping my style. I don't even believe it's real. And he goes down to where the rock seal is, and he touches the rusty sword. And it activates because of his blood, and he pulls it out. And then, like, the stone splits in half, and this, like, crazy-ass demon lady comes out. And she's, like, bound to him, and, like, the sword turns to dust. And he has to, like, use the spirit sword and, like, rebuild the seal. And she's, like, trying to kill him, but she finds out she can't. Because if he dies, she's, like, bound to him, basically. And I can't remember what the name of it is, but it was a really good anime. And I used to catch it on Toonami every once in a while. And I just can't remember what the name is. Um, let's head back to the... Let's go back to the hub. Yeah, it was really good, and uh, whenever I would catch it uh, on uh, Toonami, I would always watch it. It was very good. And I just love, like, the art style of it. I did, like, you know, like, teenage, high school, a little bit in college. Um, but, like, my biggest thing that I would watch consistently was, like, when it was, like, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z... And uh, I watched all of, like, Sailor Moon, and there's, like, a couple other big animes that came out while I was growing up that I watched a lot of. Uh, you encounter a group of guardsmen on patrol, and... Did I... Did, are they attacking me? Or are they just... Are they hostile? Yeah, I'm in combat. I don't know what's going on. Alright. I ain't got time for your shit today. So I hated Fallout 4 so much when it first came out that I literally refused to play it. And I came back to the game like a year or two after it had been out and I said, all right, I'm going to suck it up and see if I can like get through it. And then once I got over like the uh, graphical changes, it was actually really good. And uh, I was surprised with the story and I actually got into it way more than I thought I would. I was very surprised because I hated it when it came out, like hated it, like would not play it. And I still refuse to play um, Fallout 76. And like, according to me, it's just like a game that doesn't exist. I 
I don't know if it was graphical changes, but you know, like how the it was like how they talked and like um, when you put armor and stuff on, like it's just like they went with a different style or design for like the textures in Fallout 4. And like my favorite game was like Fallout 3 in New Vegas, so it was like a big jump when they went to 4. But I came around to it. I just didn't like it when I first started playing it because I thought it was too like, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I don't know why these guys are attacking me, by the way. Yeah, and I also don't like that it forces you to have a wife. Like, um, if it was my character and I was, like, living in a vault, I wouldn't magically have a wife and a child. You know, they didn't have, like, any kind of customization for non-standard, like, couples or relationships or anything. Which was a big, like, no-no for me. And, like, I get it, it goes with the story and yada yada yada, but I was like, you guys could do a little bit better than that. But a lot of people were mad about that. Uh, let's see, Fallout 4 looked like Fallout 3 to me. And Fallout 4 suffered from crappy plot and fetch quests. Yeah, I hate fetch quests. Like, I tried to get into, like, the settlement building, and I ended up doing, like, okay with it, but, like throwing in this like semi-finished Minecraft thing that you have to do in Fallout 4 when none of the other games you have to do it was kind of annoying but I kind of got better at it but there's some things that are so annoying because like when I have the ability to build something I want to go like that extra mile and make sure everything's perfect yeah the sun thing really pissed me off too yeah it's like oh you can have a husband if you want to be a girl I was like this is tw I'm like excuse me game excuse me I'm like, uh, why can't I create my husband right now? I'm like, don't put it past me to, like, make, you know, Keanu Reeves in Fallout 4 and he's my husband. And then the fucking guy shoots the shoots him and I have to go get the baby back. That would be my playthrough. I can barely hit this guy because it's dark. Like, I cannot catch up to her. She might get away. Oh, I want to hit her so bad. Alright, we got her. I just don't want them to escape, but I don't know why they're attacking me. Unless they're, like, affiliated with Junktown, I guess? I hope there's a mod. But, like, that's the thing, too. There shouldn't even have to be a mod. That should just be standard. Like, how can you make a recent game and not have an option like that? It's like, what the shit? Like, you don't have to go crazy and be, like, cyberpunk, but you have to give us some kind of choice. Alright, screw you guys. I don't know why you guys keep attacking me for no reason. I literally have, like, one of the best karmas in the game. I have 21 karma. So I'm like, why are they attacking me right now? But now that I can at least take their guns now, because I uh, cleaned my inventory space... Wait, is this guy still alive? I guess I can still chase this guy. I haven't played either because, like, I refuse. And the thing that pisses me off is Cyberpunk is made by the same people who do um, the Witcher series. And I feel like they're always going to be stained with this super shitty game that they were, like, forced to rush out with all these bugs and everything. And I just don't want it to, like, affect my future Witcher games. Like, I don't want it to sink the company, basically. Yeah, it's, it's like, I just, I want it to be basically wiped from memory, cyberpunk. I think he's gonna escape. Yeah, I can't catch up with him. Alright, end combat. You think they'll give it to us for free for, uh, if you, like, have Witcher 1, 2, and 3, you get a free copy? <laughs> You're like, if it's free, I'll look at it, but I'm not giving money for that piece of shit. It was so bad. The other game I couldn't really get into was um, the one with Norman Reedus. The uh, the one where he's like got a baby and he's a uh, Amazon delivery guy. And there's like these invisible monsters and he has to like run around the world and like drop off people's prime packages like you're just a mailman. I'm like, why is this a game? It's called like, what the shit is it called? Death Stranding or something? I don't know what it's called. But it's literally Norman Reedus. And he is, like, an Amazon Prime delivery guy. And you spend the whole game running around the world 
dropping off packages for people, and there's these invisible monsters trying to kill you. Ugh. No, Last of Us is with Ellie. I love The Last of Us. What the shit is it called? Um, hang on, give me a second. What is it called? I think it's just called Death Stranding, right? Death Stranding? Yeah, Package Delivery Guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fucking weird. It's a very weird game. I don't know how it got made. And it's just like the guy from The Walking Dead. They, like, got him to be the Amazon delivery guy. And there's, like, some kind of baby, and I don't know if he's the baby, or they have the baby, or what's going on, but it's very weird. Alright. Took care of those guys. Alright, so let's head back to the hub. And I would like to go to... I think Old Town is where all the money is. What the shit? Alright, somehow I've aggroed this whole place, so I'm just gonna kill the, the police officers and just talk to the drug dealer guy, because he'll still work with me. This game is very weird about, like, you make one wrong move and then, like, a whole town hates you. So if they're just going to keep attacking me, I need to uh, take care of the cops. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage, actually. this guy. He has so much resistance. Uh, let's walk this way. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Jesus, how many cops are there? Oh my god, somehow we've aggroed like all of the cops here. Oh my god. The darkness of the afterlife oh shit, is when did we save? You now. May you find more peace in that world. Than you found in this one. Oh shit. When did we save? Oh no. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Right at the cons place? Oh my god. What the shit? Alright, well. I keep forgetting there's no auto save in this game. I think we can do this faster, um, now that I know what to do. Uh, Sam from Death Stranding was a baby in a jar, and Ophelia is the only baby who survived and became an adult. I have no idea, I never played it. The game is fucking weird. Like, it was just very weird to me that you can be like a, an Amazon postman guy. Um, so I'm gonna kill these guys and save, and maybe the cops won't be aggroed on me. I don't know how I, I got aggroed with them to begin with, honestly. I have like no idea. I'm gonna use the old sniper rifle. Tell you what, groin shots are really good. Oh, you're playing the game right now? Uh, what do you think of it? Do you like it? Yeah, isn't it? It just seems like it's not really, like, paced very well. And it's like, okay, I'm an Amazon delivery driver, but, like, what, what's going on? Why am I doing this? You know? So is it more of, like, uh, you just play it, like, as a AFK game where you don't have to really use your brain too much? It's just there to be, like, relaxing? It's like, in a world where Norman Reedus is the Amazon package delivery driver and Prime doesn't exist in a world <laughs> where he has to compete with all the other shipping container people. Norman Reedus stands alone. He will deliver your package in 24 hours. I don't know, it just seemed like a really funny premise to me. 
Like, after seeing him in um, The Walking Dead, I'm like, uh, what? Say what? Yeah, those groin shots are so good. Alright. I'm not even gonna bother talking to these guys. We already know they're pieces of shit. Do a manual reload. And, uh... Start looting these guys once we finish. So I think I want to go around... Let's go through the doorway and kind of funnel them out. Um, do they have any kind of, like, auto-saving in, uh, Morrowind, Chris? Do you remember? Because I really have to get used to I think I'm going to set a hotkey for, like, quick saves. I'm so not used to having to do my own, um, quick saves. Like, usually games do that for me. Okay, thank God. Alright, well, that's something to look forward to. I'll figure it out in this game. I'm just going to start being a, a spastic, uh, a spastic saver. Uh, in this moment, I'm playing at an F4, but not an Amazon simulator. <laughs> Apparently he's going to kill me because I shot him in the groin. I mean, I would too, but also you don't have a groin, so I don't know if you should be talking shit right now. That's what I thought. And then they, like, shoot their own people too, which is really funny to me. Alright, she's dead. That's the boss. We need to, like, lure him outside. Okay, she's dead. And then let's get him out of the building. Now that I know kind of how to play this, it's much better. Uh, would you say it's worth it to check it out, Bog, or should we pass on it? Do you think it's, like, worth the money? She actually kind of hurts, too. Holy shit. Alright, alright. I've come too far to lose now. Stimpak power, baby. Manual reload. Alrighty. he doesn't care that he's taking two sniper shots to the groin. Alright, you know what? Let's just switch out of Vats for a second. Just pump some damage into him. The groin shots don't seem to work on him. He must have, like, a cup on or something. He has the unkillable, indestructible groin. Woo! There we go. That went better. Very nice. You gain 200 experience points for the rescue of a slave times 2, and 550 from fighting. Alright. Reload, please. Alright. Not too bad. Let's take a stim. Alright, let's start looting these guys. I'm still over encumbered, that's the problem. How could I even drop off? I don't want to waste like bullets, like I paid good money for bullets. Um... I don't even know, are throwing knives good? Or you have to like spec into them?
remember some of these guys should have stim packs on them. pretty good for the most part. Uh, we had some problems early on with um, basically Twitch does this crazy thing where it will lock your videos into max res and not let anybody toggle the res while it's live and they don't tell you anything about it but then like when you go to do research and like figure out what's going on it's like a known issue and uh, so I had to play with some settings a little earlier because it was trying to do that with my stuff but other than that it's been good. And I want it, yeah, I want the Molotov cocktails, and I want, this guy's got stim packs. All the stim packs and the Molotovs, shit. I don't know what this tool is, you take this tool. I don't know what this cat paw thing is either. So there's the two girls that we saved. Hit in the head for 42 points, a serious wound is inflicted. Alright. Hehehehe. <laughs> Right? I don't know, like, I think somebody's gonna want that book later, right? Like, it, it's gotta be for something, or like, for someone? Uh, there wasn't really anything in any of these desks, was there? I think we, like, tried to just ammo. I'll take the shotgun shells. God damn it. Alright, just leave that there. I think it was the fridge that was locked, right? Holy shit! Look what's in this fridge. Alright, we have to come back for this stuff. Alright, let's finish the last couple guys that are up here. We'll sell everything, go to the vault, we'll drop off our excess stuff so our carry weight's not so bad. And then we'll save, and then we'll come back and get the rest of the stuff. There's like certain places in like Elder Scrolls and um, in different games like that where you can leave stuff and then when you come back it's still there. But uh, it looks like it's not corpses, so maybe you just leave everything in uh, a chest or like an item and you can come back for it. Oh yeah, fuck you, dude. And there we go, we got a level for that. Alright, reload. Switch to my lockpicks. Give me my stem. Give me these. Oh, wow, yeah, these guys have really good stuff on them. Alright, let's level up. Got all the cons. The girls now run this uh, camp. The two slave girls that I liberated now run this camp. This is their summer home. This is what happens when you do slavery and be an asshole and call me a normie. Does everybody save this to your screenshots of what happens when you mess with me? Uh, the tool gives you a 20% bonus to repair, does it really? Shit, who did I leave that on? Yeah, girls, I leave you, I leave you this base. All this base belongs to you. I think I left it on this guy. Garth or whatever. No, I didn't leave it with him. Shit, who did I leave the tool with? I don't know, other than the water pump, what else am I even going to use repair for? Like in Fallout 3 in Vegas, it's, uh, you keep your armors and apparel, like, high, uh, high quality. Which I like. 
I do like that kind of repair. Oh, I didn't loot this guy. Oh, here it is. Give me my tool. You cannot pick that up here over capacity. Um, I'll trade you a tool for my extra radio that I don't know how I picked that up. And I still have another. Yeah, I still have another one. There we go. Alright, let's get the hell out of Dodge. We'll come back for the rest of the stuff later. Um, Actually, let me see real quick. I haven't checked. Uh, yeah, I think I did actually, uh, Bog. You were uh, follower 85. Yeah, you were able to uh, hit us to the goal, so thanks for that. We hit our goal! 85 followers. Keeping the wasteland safe. One con at a time. Alright, uh, take me back to my vault. I gotta go drop stuff off in the locker. They're always glad to see me when I come here. <laughs> Alright, entrance. So I'm almost 100% certain we can just leave stuff in this locker and nobody will take it. Like, if I come back and all my ammo's done, I might be upset about it. Alright, so let's leave, like, 100 of these. And then a lot of this ammo. Like, almost, like, maybe 30. Okay, how about 20... It's kind of weird how they do ammo in this game. Let's do 15. Yeah, that seems better. Anything else we want to drop off? This stuff's all getting sold. I'm going to keep this in the locker till I figure out what we need it for. This is all getting sold. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so now do I shut the locker? And then if I come back to the locker... And it has everything. Alright, let's do that. So can I hit, like, a button and fast travel without having to go through, like, the exit zone? Like, from here, maybe? Vault 13. Entrance. Archives. Status. Map. Doesn't look like it, does it? Alright, we'll keep that stuff there. We'll sell everything else up at the hub. Oh wait, let me save real quick. And then we'll see if they're still aggroed against us. The, uh, the hub. Call this the locker drop. So nice to have like a proper set of lock uh, lockpicks too. All right, so back to the hub. Let's see if they're aggro. If they're not aggro, I'll sell everything. If not, we're gonna have to like find another town to sell everything. Junk Town doesn't like us because I went like vigilante justice on the. Um, on the gang that was there. Alright, let's go to Old Town. No, they're still aggroed for whatever reason. Ugh. But yeah, um, Royal, do you know if uh, Dark Cloud 2 is on, like, Steam or, um, like, the Sony network or anything? I would love to play Dark Cloud again. Dark Cloud was so good. Hey, 
the head for 24 points. A serious wound is inflicted. Alright, that's what we want. Yeah, if it's on PSN, that'll be good. Oh, it never got ported to PC? Oh my god. It's like one of my all-time favorite games. Let's get our shotgun equipped. Reload both of these. have some serious firepower. God, I can't even hurt them either because they have, like, combat armor. These guys are definitely, like, stronger than us. We're probably just gonna have to reload and avoid the, uh, the hub for a while. Yeah, definitely. They're way too strong for us. I haven't been able to even, like, kill one officer. Here, load us up. Alright, well, no more hub. For whatever reason, they're aggro against us. So we need to find another place to trade with. So we know where the Brotherhood is, and also the Boneyard. Why don't we go check out the Boneyard? Uh, looks like it's on PSN. You can play it... Ugh. So at least it's on there, so at least there's, like, a chance to get it. But, uh, I'll have to look into it, because I would love to play, like, I would love to play through it again. I love that game. Yeah, let's head to the Boneyard. So basically, Junktown and the Hub are both, like, aggro against us. So we're just gonna avoid them until we're ready to, like, take them out. We still haven't gotten any leads on, like, where the Super Mutants are, either. Yeah, basically. I think that's what's gonna have to happen. Like, I didn't get to play Dark Cloud 1 that much, but I loved Dark Cloud 2. Like, I, I just loved it. It was so good. I just remember hours and hours of playing that game. I just, like, fell in love with the world. <laughs> I think the worst, uh, the worst company for doing ports of their old games has got to be Nintendo. They're terrible at it. Like, very bad. Alright, let's check this place out. The Boneyard. Poseidon Gasoline. Los Angeles County, California. The Playground of America. Aditum. Uh, welcome to Aditum, stranger. Watch yourself. We'll be watching you. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Uh, what do you want to know about? Uh, what do you do here? Can you tell me more about the Boneyard? How can I get inside? What do you know about the children of the Cathedral and the followers of the Apocalypse? Yeah, what about that? Uh, they're both groups of nuts. The followers want everyone to be peaceful and happy. They don't realize that the world is too harsh for that. The children have some sort of god they're worshipping in their cathedral to the south. They have a hospital, but they're a little too weird to be on the level. What do you want to know about? Uh, how can I get inside? Uh, sorry, but we have to be careful of strangers here. Too dangerous. Maybe you can do some work for Zimmerman? Who's Zimmerman? So, like, they don't trust me, I guess? Holy shit, look at this place. You see a large, muscular man. There's, like, crops down here. A thin man in a white smock. Who's this guy? Uh, bye, Bog. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow, man. We'll see you in the next one. So he said I need to find Zimmerman. Uh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? I'm just looking around, thanks. Uh, that smock makes you look like a scientist. What are you studying? Uh, I'm a chemist. Mostly I make primer and powder so that we can reuse the brass casings from bullets, but I also dabble with some other chemicals. So you make bullets for aditum. Where do you get the sulfur, potassium, nitrate, and other chemicals? What other chemicals do you work with? 
While I've been trying to get some strong acids so that Smitty can use them for etching, I also have been trying to make some permanent dyes and inks, but without access to natural inks, it's difficult. Um, where do you get the sulfur, potassium, nitrate, and other chemicals? It's unusual to find someone who can appreciate chemistry, but to answer your question, some of the materials we get from hub merchants, others I manufacture or just find in the area. For instance, the dung heaps of the Brahmin are a good source as well as some of the sta strains of fungus that I cultivate. So he's literally using cow poop to get chemicals for bullets. Um, so do you so you make bullets for additum? Uh, yes, although Smitty is the one who actually casts the bullets, I just refill the brace, uh, brass cast, uh, casings. Uh, but the hub merchants make a profit off of you and the town. Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants, and bullets are the only thing we have to sell. I could try to get the parts to fix the farms. Uh, really? That would be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts. But I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could be self-sufficient. Uh, Samuel might be able to give us some help. Okay, where's Samuel? How did he spell his name? Sammy well? No, I don't think I spelled that right. Uh, you need to talk to Sam Al. You'll usually find him in a tent down by the farms during the day. Okay, he's in a tent down by the farms. Alright. So this is like a, a church, but there's like a farm and... Uh, is this the guy I need to talk to? Uh, you see a grungy man in dark blue clothes. Uh, hey, I don't believe we met. You are... Uh, uh, the pleasure's mine. I'm called Sam L. Uh, what do you uh, What do you do here? Uh, I'm a scav, a scavenger. My job is to search out all the boneyard for useful items and information. Dangerous work. Uh, how do you avoid the death clause? Have you scouted out any of the other areas? I've done a little scouting. Uh, who do you want to know about? The Blades? Like, from Skyrim? Is this confirmed that the Blades are in Fallout? Is this, like, canon? The Blades, the Death Claws, the Gunrunners, Follower of the Apocalypse, and the Children of the Cathedral. Hmm. It would appear that the Blades are in this game. The Blades are a pretty sorry sight for a group of people. They get by, though, and some of them up, uh, end up here in Aditum if they agree to what the Regulators offer them to do. Uh, how about the Gunrunners? Uh, the Gunrunners moved into a big factory up uh, to the northeast not long ago. I uh, can't tell you much because they have a, a moat filled with radioactive sludge, and you gotta get through the Death Claws to get there. I have to get through the Death Claws? What? Um... Okay, nobody thanks. See you around if you see me. Okay, so he's supposed to give me, like, some help of, like, how to fix the stuff? Uh, what was, uh... Hey, uh, we see each other once more. What's up? Uh, what was your job again? Uh, I'm a scav, a scavenger. Okay. Um, how do you avoid the death clause? Uh, we only work at night, and we're good at what we do. But I'll admit, not everyone always comes back. I sent a guy out last week to look for some parts for Miles, and we haven't heard from him since. The last transmission said he, that, he, we, that he had found the parts and was on his way back. So this guy has the parts that we need to fix this uh, water pump to like get into the city um, but it looks like there's death claws and he didn't make it back all right so he said the death claws are like to the northeast uh, do you guys have any like stores or anything before I head out and risk my life for you what do we got in here anything Doesn't look like it. Who's this guy? I don't even know who the blades are. Like, I know who the blades are in the Elder Scrolls. I don't know who the blades are in Fallout. I'm assuming they're like a gang. Uh, hello, stranger. May I be of service? Uh, I'm just looking around, thanks. I'm getting to know the people of Adatum. Why do you assume that I need something? Uh, I'm just getting to know the people of Adatum. I'm called Chuck. Welcome to Adatum. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too far uh, forthcoming with strangers, though. Uh, yeah, I noticed. So what's your job, Chuck? I'm a farmer. I also like to do a little bit of work on the buildings, restoring them and keeping them intact. And sometimes I give advice. Uh, what kind of advice? Uh, Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. 
Let me consult the cards. All right, he's going to give me a tarot reading. Hell yeah. Uh, Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man with a vibro blade and a flag. So that's either the Six of Rods or the King of Swords. Yeah, the Prince of Swords. Okay, so he's using a deck that has the princes. I use I don't use ones that have princes. Uh, the Prince of Swords in the north. You must face a powerful foe far to the north. Uh, do you believe this stuff? It works for me. If you don't want to believe it, then it's not for you. Uh, no offense, but it sounds like a lot of superstition. Well, I guess we each have our own beliefs. Indeed, we do. And your universe is shaped by your beliefs, while my universe is shaped by my thoughts. We may not share beliefs, but I wish you well in your universe. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. He's like a fortune teller. He's got a fruit and nine dollars. Alright. He literally pulled out the King of Swords. Told me I had to fight a great enemy in the north. Could be the White Walkers. Never know. You see a dark-skinned man adorned with bright scarves and trinkets. Alright. So where is this, like, Deathclaw area I need to go to? You said to the northeast? Or can I go in here, actually? Are they gonna let me into the city, or no? Wait, where's my character? Okay, there I'm at. Okay. You see an inhabitant of Adatown. Good day, if that is what you can call it. Hope the rain ain't glowing like yesterday. You see Lorraine, a scav from Adatum. Lorraine? Hi, are you new here? Yeah, can you fill me in a little? Uh, yes, I am. I'm called Zachary. I'm Lorraine. Can I ask you a few questions? She has a green mohawk. I suppose. What do you need to know? Can you give me some information about the boneyard? Tell me a bit about the other residents. What do you do for a living? I'm a scav. I work with Samel to collect stuff from the ruins so that we can use it to build or trade. Um, how many scavs are there? Oh, there's half a dozen of us. Samel was the first one, and he's still the best. Um, can I ask you some other stuff? I suppose. What do you need to know? Uh, can you give me some information about the boneyard? Uh, this used to be a big city called Los Angeles, but the bombs hit really hard. Now there's just the Angel's uh, Boneyard. We Addy Towners are just trying to survive in the wreckage. Can you tell me about Los Angeles? Lots of people lived here. From what I hear, the survivors hid in a big place called a vault and came out years later. Some of them started the Regulators and then found it added them. Uh, the rest of them went to the Gunrunners, uh, and the Gunrunners aren't here originally. Okay. Uh, where is this vault? Uh, well, supposedly it was somewhere south of here, but I don't really know. I think everyone left because it was broken. Alright. Uh, what do you want to know about? Can you tell me about Zimmerman? Uh, Zimmerman watches over our town. He makes sure that everyone gets fed and that everybody has a job to do. Alright. How about Smitty? Uh, Smitty is a tinkerer of sorts. He's good at repair work. He casts bullets and fixes broken stuff. Alright. What do you do? Tell me about the other reasons. Can you give me some information? Never mind. Thanks. Alright, nice talking to you. I thought she was going to be like an optional uh, like companion or like person we could take with us. But she doesn't seem too into it. I'm going to try and like go in this building and then... Who is this guy? Good day. What can I do for you? May I ask your name? Uh, well, everyone just calls me Smitty, probably because I'm the local blacksmith. Uh, I'd like to buy something. Uh, I'd recommend that you check out Tin Store just to one side, uh, just to one side of the gates. Idiot actually sell, or I don't actually sell anything good here. I trade it to Tin or the hub merchants for goods. Um, can I ask you a few questions? Can you make guns and bullets? Well, building guns and making shells takes machining, and I just don't have the tools for that. But with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload old brass since I can cast bullets. Uh, where did you get all of your shop equipment? Why, any competent blacksmith can make his own anvil. Of course, I really just sort of learned the craft by practice, but I made most of my own tools. Okay. Do you have anything to barter? Uh, looks like he's got a bunch of stim packs. We'll take those. He's got a... What is that? A 40 millimeter pistol... 700 caps, alright? 471. 
offer. And then he can buy 12,000 worth of goods. Let's start selling some of these guns. Alright, one gun is a thousand. How much is this one? Nine hundred. How about these sodas? Okay. Let's do that. Two hundred? And take away... One, one, nine, one, five, four... Is that eighty-four? And ten. Take ten away. There we go. Offer. Right, he's got a hundred and seven left. I don't think I have anything that'll sell for so low. Yeah, definitely not. Alright, we have forty-one stims now. Alright. So he said go to the guy who's uh over in the tent on the other side of town. So this guy, maybe? We need to find where the Zimmerman guy is. Nope, these are just beds. Uh, we don't get many outsiders here. You see a middle-aged man in civilian clothing. Uh, what do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, mayor of Aditim. What is it to you? So we found the mayor. Uh, your guard said you had a job for me. I don't like your attitude, old man. Your guard said you had a job for me. I might. Have you ever dealt with a vicious murdering band of thieves before? Um, yeah, actually, if you know the great cons, they're now dead. That was my handiwork, so I've definitely handled thieves before. Uh, don't tell me, you've got a gang problem. What is it over here? Is there any place in the wasteland that doesn't have a gang problem? I've dealt with a few. Good, then you know how ruthless and bloodthirsty they can be. The blades are the worst of them all. I'm afraid we're a humble, God-fearing town that is only trying to survive, and these monsters prey on us. He whispers under his breath, and our children. Yeah, yeah, that's great. What's the job entail, and what's it worth to you? What do you mean, prey on you? Why don't you just get your guards to do something about them? Well, the regulators keep them from attacking us outright, but it's all they can do to keep our little community safe. They try to sneak in at night to kill our citizens or to kidnap our children, and he stops a moment to compose himself. Just last week, one of them burst through the north gate in the middle of the night with a dynamite strapped to his body to blow up the regulator's barracks, no doubt to weaken us enough so that they could launch a full-scale attack. Uh, what happened to him? Luckily, the regulators killed him before he could complete his plan. I saw his body myself. I see. What would you like me to do about it? So you don't you didn't actually see this guy run into your town with dynamite strapped to his body? It was in the middle of the night, as I told you. I was asleep. Luckily, the regulators usually catch these barbarians before they even make it inside our town. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. Pretty convenient, too. I don't like how all this sounds. Count me out. Uh, what would be convenient? Uh, what would be convenient would be to put an end to their foolish, uh, foulness once and for all. Uh, let me guess. You want them dead? How can I help? There's a lot more going on here than I want to know about. I'll be going now. How can I help? I'll give you 2,000 caps to kill their leader. I want that bitch's head. You seem to have something personal against her. Why just the leader? Uh, they'll fall apart without her. Her vile influence. Sounds like a fun girl. I've heard enough. Uh, right. I want no part of this sickness. Sounds like a fun girl. She had my son kidnapped, tortured, and killed. They left him impaled on a post right outside the gates. Holy shit. Those sick bastards. I'll take the job. Thank the gods. Finally, my son shall be avenged. The Blades camp is to the north of here. Come back when you've done the job. Alright, well now we know what the Blades are. Alright. They sound terrible. They like stole his son and impaled him on a spike. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to go this way? Is it to the north? The signs of gang activity are evident in this partially rebuilt nightclub and tiny outposts here. The Blades. Look at that sign. The Blades. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh no. Oh, Zimmerman, what are you trying to do to me? What's going on? I gotta ask some questions. All 
All right, give me just two seconds, guys. So what do you think? Do you think we should trust the mayor? Or do you think we should try to find this boss, this girl that he's talking about, and see if we can get, like, the actual story from her? Ask her some questions. Uh, every- <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know if I trust anyone in this town. Alright, I'm gonna try and play it cool. But you know how that goes. I'm gonna see if I can get some information before I figure out who's like in the wrong. Actually, wait, let's save. Call this one, um. Did the blades do it? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Who is this guy? You see a strong, stout man with a bushy beard. Uh, hello, lad. What might you be looking for today? Uh, what can you tell me about the Blades? Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Well, I'm McRae. I help the Blades, uh, same against the Death Claws and that Regulator Bunch, teach them a bit about protecting themselves against these nasties. What kind of stuff do you teach them? Have you seen the Death Claws? What's the deal with the Regulators? What kind of stuff do you teach them? Doot, doot, doot. Uh, well, my specialty is fighting with my fists and taking a punch or two more than the guy throwing them at me. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit, Ducky. So, for everyone in chat, Ducky's my boyfriend. So, he's been checking in on us. Getting us with those hot Google tips. <laughs> Let's see. My specialty is fighting with my fists and taking a punch or two more than the guy throwing them at me. Sounds like a dumb idea. I'd rather use a gun. Do you think you could teach me anything? Can I ask you something? Sounds like a dumb idea. I'd rather use a gun. Yeah, sounds like a dumb idea against a Deathclaw. Well, if that's how you'd be feeling, you can just turn yourself around and walk away. Okay, he didn't like my persuasion check at all. Alright. Carbonated water, caramel color, aspartame, phosphoric acid, potassium, benzoot to protect taste, natural flavor, citric acid, and caffeine. Is he selling Nuka Cola? Yes, I'm just looking around, thanks. What do you do around here? What's with the Nuka Cola? Uh, it is the stuff of life. Well, actually, if I don't drink it on an hourly basis, I get a splitting headache, which is literally what happens with uh, aspartame. Uh, what's so good about Nuka Cola? Is that all? It doesn't seem to help anyone that much. How much of that stuff do you drink? Can I ask you something else? Doesn't seem to help anyone that much. Uh, so... Um, let's see. What's so good about Nuka Pola? We did that. How much of the stuff do you drink? About five liters a day. He drinks five liters a day of Nuka Cola. Um, can I ask you something else? Yes. Um, who's in charge around here? Razor's the woman you want to talk to. Okay, so we need to find Razor. So I'm guessing that's the woman he wants to, like, take out. Member of the Blades. Member of the Blades. at her. You see a very beautiful woman with a sad look in her eyes. Alright, that's gotta be her. Uh, can I help you? Are you the leader of this gang? Gang? We're hardly a gang, but I am the only one uh, they all come to for direction. Uh, well, you look like a gang. Uh, Zimmerman sent me. Uh, looking a little nervous. What? Did he... To put a bullet in your head to pay you back for killing his son. What? Those, those fucking piece of shit bastards. I'll kill them. I'll send them all to hell. Uh, no, you're the one that's going to hell. Um, who are you going to send to hell? 
uh, the regulators, they were the ones that killed Josh. I never would do anything to hurt Josh. It's the regulators who are running uh, at him, not Zimmerman. Uh, this is a pathetic attempt to talk your way out of this. Why would the regulators kill Zimmerman's son? Uh, Joss lived here with me. Uh, I mean us. He knew the truth behind what was going on. The regulators told him if he ever tried to contact his father or return to Adatum. Um, hang on. That went too fast. Uh, his father or return to Adatum that they would kill him. They laughed at him. They were so sure he couldn't get to his father. They killed him. What did he do? Uh, late one night, he tried to sneak into town to tell his father what was really going on. I was monitoring the regular's radio transmissions that night. Then he got caught. She looks down and shakes her head slowly. Here is all, uh, here it's all on this hollow disc. Uh, why haven't you given this to Josh's father? It's not like any of us can ever get close to Adatum. We've been shot dead before we ever reach the gates. Why don't I give him the disc? Why don't you get a large group together and take Adatum by force? Why don't I give him the disc? You would risk your life to help us? Uh, I might. I need to go check things out before I do anything, or anything to help. I'm not so sure it would help without the threats of violence to back it up. What we really need are some weapons from the gunrunners. Well, where are these gunrunners? Why don't you get weapons from them? I'll take care of the regulators myself. Uh, they're a little to the east of here, but there's a deathclaw nest between us and them. We have never been, ever been, we have never ever spoken with any of the gunrunners. Okay, give me the holodisc, and I'll go talk to the gunrunners before I approach Zimmerman. Uh, thank you, this really could help us. Good luck. Alright, so... There's some kind of, like, subplot going on right now. So there's two groups. One blames the other. Um, and basically, they shot his son for coming over to this side of town versus where he came from. And then he, like, sent me over here to, like, do his dirty work, which I'm not about to do. And we have to try and find the gun runners. I'm guessing we have to go up here to get to there. No, never mind. Boneyard, Anatom, and Downtown. Maybe this way? Yeah, this way looks like where we're supposed to go. In the heart of the city, a great library, fortified and restored, rises with a forbidding, forbidding yet graceful presence. You feel a sense of peace. What? There's like a library here? You see a studious follower of the apocalypse. Follower of the apocalypse. Okay, so this is like a follower camp? It's like a great library. <laughs> I can't believe if you have low enough intelligence in this game, you can't talk to people, you can't use spoken language, you have to like figure out everything on your own, so if you have a low intelligence score, this game punishes you. It looks like their boss is uh, Nicole. Where's Nicole at? You see Katja. You're not from around here. Who are you? Uh, the name's Zachary. Ah, and what, may I ask, are you doing in the Boneyards? Uh, you ask a lot of questions. First you tell me who you are. I'm just an explorer. Just a traveler. I've heard that one before. Nobody comes to the Boneyard except those hub merchants and people looking for a quick death at the hands of the gangs. What are you really here for? Uh, I don't need a chip. I don't need to tell you anything. Damn straight. That's a two-way street. Alright, she seems nice. You see a studious follower of the apocalypse. Nicole. There we go. Greetings. Hey. We're very glad you could join us. We hope you have found our humble abode to your satisfaction. Hey, Nicole. Look at you with your green mohawk and talking to me. She seems nice. Uh, thanks. Can you tell me more about what you worship here? Humble is a good word. Dump would be better. I have. Can I ask you a few questions? It's okay, I guess. Uh, can you tell me more about what you worship here? We don't worship so much as follow a set of principles. We want to bring peace back to this wasteland. The world tends toward destruction, so we try to make a difference. <laughs> you don't trust her? I don't know. I kind of like her green hair. She does kind of look like a little bit of a raider, though, doesn't she? 
So we don't worship so much as follow a set of principles. We want to bring peace back to the wasteland. The world tends towards destruction, so we try to make a difference. Okay. We try to remind people why the Great War happened in the first place and help ensure it won't ever happen again. <laughs> you don't like her voice? She's kind of got like that uh, I'm suspicious and I'm going to do something voice. Um, have you been successful at all? We never give up hope. We never will, even though most live by the gun these days. And we are concerned with the children of the cathedral. Yeah, I'm also concerned with the children of the cathedral. They freak me the fuck out. They claim to want peace like us, but anyone who disagrees with them just disappears. Their dark god is not what he seems. Believe me. Their dark god? Oh my god, what? How do you know? Call it instinct. We've seen Morpheus and the Nightkin, and they don't look like peacemakers to us. Their hospitals and message of peace make them attractive, but we know there's evil there. Wait, they have Nightkin? So, uh, the Nightkin in Fallout New Vegas are like super mutants who shot up a bunch of stealth boys and got like addicted to it. Um, but it also gave them like schizophrenia and all kinds of like messed up stuff. So if there's Nightkin here, that's literally like um, super mutants that are invisible. So that's terrifying. Um, don't you think you're being a little bit paranoid? Do you have any clues? Well, I'll make sure to tell you anything I find out. We this and we that. Are you trying to put words in everyone's mouth? Um, do you have any clues? A number of our spies have seen Nightkin coming in and out of the back room of the children's temple. Something important is back there. Okay, there's something in the temple. Well, I'll report back anything I hear. Can I ask you a few more questions? Ask, and I'll answer if I can. Um, what else do you know about the children of Cathedral? What do you worship? Tell me a little bit more about the history of the followers. What would you like to know? Far to the south, near the Great Glow. The times were hard, but we managed to survive. We realized then the Great War must never happen again. So you started the followers? After my parents were killed by marauders. It was time the killing stopped. It's our goal to make this land the way it used to be, before the war. Okay. Sorry about your parents. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, is there anything else you needed to ask me? Ask, and I'll answer if I can. Do you have anything to sell for me? She's got, like, no money. Alright, so they're a group that's, like, trying to... We wish you the best in the journeys ahead. Please feel free to use our base as much as you like. Thank you. So they're, like, trying to restore the world back to how it was before the bombs fell? I mean, she's nice. These other guys, not so much. Anyone else I can talk to? Doesn't look like it, does it? Who knows what goes on below the children's cathedral. So the other group says there's like nightkin and like something going on in the church. And then like the children of Adam, the church like attacked me that other time too. So I don't really trust them either. All right. So let's go this way and we need to keep going till we can find where the, uh, like the death claws and the gun runners are. Let's see if it's this way. No, that just takes me out of here. Anadum and downtown. Is she really? It's the same uh, voice actress? Oh, that's awesome. Wow, they have actually a really good crew of people doing the voices for this game. Like, I'm really impressed. That's awesome. Uh, any idea how to get to the gun runners? I have no idea which zone I'm supposed to go into. So that just takes me here. And then if I go through there, I leave the zone. Can't go that way. Yeah, where's the Deathclaw nest? 
death claw nest, death claw nest. I mean, I have the firepower. I think I could do it if I'm, like, careful. I just need to know where it is. Is it, like, over here? Oh, let's try this area. You see a st okay, where is this? Ripper. Okay. Oh shit. We got a live one. We got our first death claw. Shit, look at that guy. You see a death claw. No, don't touch it. Alright, so there's like one, two, three. It's like four death claws over here. I'm gonna have to be like really careful. Looks like I can get in over here. Alright, I'm gonna kill a Deathclaw, and we're gonna save, and I'm gonna wrap up stream for today, and uh, next episode we're gonna get to the Gunrunners. Because Deathclaws are, they mean business. Alright, let's try and get a shot off on it before it hits me. Uh, let's shoot it in the groin. Deathclaws was hitting the groin for 16 points. Alright. Let's hit it in the eyes. Deathclaw was quickly hit in the eyes for 63 hit points, slipping past the huge claws to strike the monster. The Deathclaw shakes and growls. Hit it again. In the head. Deathclaw was hit for 15 points. Oh shit, he just knocked me down. Holy fuck! I'm down to 17 HP. Your aim is blocked. Uh, go this way. Uh, hit him in the head again. Shit, I have no idea how much health this thing has. It might kill me. Don't kill me. Knock me down. Stim back. Deathclaws are really tough to fight, actually. I can't underestimate them. No, do not drop any of those. Alright, reload. Let's do this. Uh, do you know if there's any way to, like, CHP? I guess I have to look that up, because I can never tell how much health they have, which would be nice to know. Deathlar was critically hit in the head for 27 points in a forceful blow. That, oh my god, it's taking crits to the head and it does not care. Jesus Christ. These things are so tough. Maybe I need, like, explosives? One more. Alright. Let's use my action points to run. Oh, great. Critically hit for 28 points, bypassing my armor. Thanks, asshole. Alright. Kill this thing, please. God, it's so strong. Holy fuck. Deathclaw was critically hit in the head for 44 points. Deathclaw was killed. You earn a thousand experience points for killing a Deathclaw. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If basically if that thing got two crits on me, I was dead anyways. 250 health? Holy shit. Yeah, these things don't mess around, I'll tell you that. I have no loot either. Gotta love it. Alright, let's heal. And we're gonna have to be, like, more tactful, I think, when we fight the other ones. Reload. And then let's get our shoddy out. Reload that. Alright. Let's get inside the building. We'll save. Alright, looks like the other ones are like over. There's two close together, which kind of scares me. There's like a dead guy here, which has the parts we need to like repair the the uh, farm. So we have to get that. And then there's some places I can loot in here. Alright, so let's save. We'll call this one... Um, 
mom I killed a death claw <laughs> there, that'll be a good one all right we're saved all right guys and with that we've reached the end of the stream for today uh, we did some awesome stuff. We basically figured out why we couldn't repair the water purifier, so we f helped the ghouls in Necropolis. We took out the enemy faction that was like militant and didn't like humans, so only the pacifists are left and they have water. We've got the water chip back for the vault. We weren't able to really find any leads about where the super mutants are coming from, um, but we did make it to the boneyard and it looks like we have to find the gun runners, but we have to fight through these death claws to get to them and then see if we can figure out what's going on. Um, it looks like there's Nightkin here, which Nightkin are super mutants, so maybe we'll be able to like get a lead to like figure out where to go, but I'm really enjoying it. It's really fun. I love the shotgun. The sniper rifle's doing good, and I think if we can get to the gun runners, we can probably spend all those caps that I've been saving up and get some really, really heavy firepower, so I'm looking forward to that. But other than that, I want to thank everyone who's followed, anyone who's been participating in chat, and everybody watching at home. I appreciate you guys so much, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll see you back here uh, tomorrow, and we're going to try and fight to the gun runners and see what we can do. But until then, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.